All right, and I think actually now my my microphone is actually picking me up unlike last time. So hey everyone. <laughs> it's been a while, but welcome, hey. welcome back to the next episode of The Great Poison. Um things are a little slow right now. We do apologize for having a bit of a late start. Um a couple of us had some technical difficulties. Um for the people that, Excuse me. For the people are, that are in here, I had to quickly run over. Carly's computer was giving her issues, so I think we got everything sorted out. But she, <laughs> she is Excuse on her me. way. Um, Sorry, I keep burping. Oh, you're fine. Um, I see in the chat that uh, it looks like uh, looks like Liam is on his way. He's going to be there in about should be any minute now, actually. Hold on, I'm trying to find us on Twitchies. Yep, your mic's working, so. Okay, my mic is working. I do like that. Yep. I'm not, like, coming in, like, echoey or, like. No, it doesn't sound like it's echoey. Oh, thank God. No. Evan has ads <laughs> on his stream, so I have to watch <laughs> ads before I can be on the stream. I have ads? You have I ads. Have, I didn't get an ad. I got an ad for um, Aloy, the Aloy game. Uh, Horizon? Yeah. That seems like a fun game. I still need to play the first one. I own yeah. the first one, and I haven't played it yet. <laughs> I'm oh, pretending Carly. my watermelon juice is uh, welcome. Is wine? Oh, so I can. Are you pretending? Go. There we oh are. My God. I'm not pretending. I'm not pretending. I'm gonna get a drink. <laughs> Make one. Like, They're not gonna see you if you walk by. Letting me like connect. I have my water too. All right, is everything okay on your end now, Carly? Or, I, I mean, guess. We, we see ya, we hear ya. I was so pissed. Maybe if I get close enough. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hey. Oh. <laughs> so, no baby. I'm sorry, Carly. I don't get her back until Sunday morning. Can't I can't see my niece. You can't see your knees. I'm, until I'm so morning. fucking Yeah, but offended. that means that we can now see Brittany because now she doesn't have to turn her cam off. <gasps> yeah. Right? I get to see my TikTok wife's beautiful face. I have missed y'all so much. Oh, God. Now, oh, for those of us, same. And for those of us who are watching right now, apologies that we were not... We, we did plan to play last week. Unfortunately, we had one person who had a work shift, another person who was MIA for a bit, but everything's all better now, and Brittany came down with the sickness. What? Did not come down with the sickness. I got a monthly what? subscription to Satan's Hellfire Chorus. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to say it. I mean, it was my shark week at the beginning of the month, so I get that. Yeah. I was like, oh, no, I'm not playing tonight. Let's... And I crumbled. <laughs> I get that your hair looks great. It's faded. I need to re dye it. I haven't. God, I haven't seen yeah. you in that long. <laughs> that, like, I haven't even seen your like hair, and it's already faded. It's, it's I also miss, coming back. I miss them. Uh, I miss them. Uh, video chats. I know, but now you work. Yeah, I know. And you don't get off that. until like. Six o'clock at night. No, no, no I get no. off at four. That's three o'clock my time. We could just get on a what? Bitch, I'm fucking tired after <laughs> I, I typically I can, fall I can, asleep. I can attest. The mo literally the first thing she does when she gets home is she gets on the lazy boy and then passes out. That's mm -hmm. fair. And then I take a nap. So then that maybe I can stay up a little bit past like ten. That's fair. Because I gotta wake up at like 5 30 to get to work at 6 45. And now you guys just carpool, huh? Yeah. And the place is and the place is only five minutes away from where we live. It is great. It is indeed great. Um, you know, <laughs> that that being said, um guys. Where is our uh Daddy Daddy's posting right now? Steven. Um 
Apparently, I have to re-download Zoom, so I'd say, okay, so Steven is going to be another, like, five minutes, because apparently it looks like Zoom vanished from his computer, so he's got to re-download and re happened Oh my like, gosh, y'all got in ago. contact with Steven? We actually Damn. got in contact with Daddy? Okay, we, ha we have Cammie to thank for that, because apparently she was the one who was in contact with him most recently, but apparently... Like, I'm sure <clears throat> he can give full details if he wishes, but from what I was told, he was moving into a new place. And then a bunch of <gasps> oh, other that's amazing. And then a bunch of other issues happened that I did not get details on, so that that's for him to tell. But apparently <sighs> it was it was very important and he had to be out of contact. But everything is okay. Um I am happy that he is back on the team because I know a lot of you have plans involving his character. Mm -hmm. um, I mostly have daddy jokes. Okay. <laughs> daddy, right, we all uh, have daddy jokes. All right, daddy, can you <laughs> shove your fist into the hole? Daddy, can you yes. yes. do it? Since but, 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 but do it really like harder so that we all feel <laughs> Daddy, can you <laughs> shove your fist into this mainframe? Are Daddy's sure been Captain? fisting the ship enough, so we need him to start fisting some Quasar tech. We need him to fix yeah, the quasars. He might get to diseases. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I miss. Why did you guys. give me the intelligence, <laughs> guys? Why did you give me the intelligence like tablet thing? You know my intelligence is so low because she's insane. Okay, but the... we love her anyway. Okay, I... so you <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> if you're talking, if you're talking about the uh, the quasar tablet that you got, it re doesn't require intelligence. Daddy's home. All it does, if anything, oh it requires... my god, it's Steven. <laughs> you're alive. <laughs> um, Daddy, by... I'm so excited to see you. By oh my god, Dad, you've been here all this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta oh. wrangle you all. I gotta wrangle you all. Sabrina, to answer your Sorry. question, Sabrina, to answer your question, if you want to use the data pad, it gives you advantage on history checks involving anything using. Qua okay, so Stephen, so you missed this. So last episode, which is were, an intelligence. Um, going last episode, they were going through some lava caves, and now they're all in a uh, basically a frozen, uh, snowy tundra valley area. Um, but before that, they were able to get their next big tech item that Byte is now the sole user of. And basically, it's a, it's a tablet recorder. So if any of you guys come across any Quasar logs, they will automatically get downloaded to said tablet. So essentially, that's just a fancy way of saying if ever you need to do history checks involving anything Quasar related, you automatically get advantage on those checks. However, Byte is the only one that can do that because she possesses said tablet. I would like to uh, apologize because Evan got... <laughs> no. That's what I was Evan, thinking, too. Because Evan got fucking down with the sickness stuck in my head now that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that being said, though, I want to do a final check. Carly, are you doing okay? Any other technical problems? No, I, I am all good. Okay, I love you. No, you too. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a while, and I miss you all. Um, a couple announcements before we get started. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be in contact way less often uh, on Discord because they just recently added Mass Effect Legendary Collection to Xbox Game Pass, so I'm going to be <laughs> playing that. Well, mm. uh, I mean, hopefully this weekend I can go out and get um, King of Fighters 15. That's what I'm trying to Ooh. get. Ooh. Oh, by the oh. way, Liam, I haven't forgotten about that character you sent me. Oh. Um, I still have yet to go over it. Um, so, no, you'll most, so you'll most likely get an answer at the earliest uh, tonight, if not sometime tomorrow. I'm free all day tomorrow, so it will most likely happen then. So just heads up. Testing. No, yeah. Testing. Oh. You're good. We can hear you. Oh, we can hear you all right. Also, yeah, I was just testing because nothing was popping up. Okay. Also, me and Evan moved. Yeah, I saw your apartment. I can't believe my bed is, is bigger than yours. <laughs> it is so big in there that <laughs> I want to, like, instead of the week staying at a hotel, that the week of Carly and Evan's wedding, I'm just slipping on their floor. I Makes mean, sense. You, you guys can sleep on the couch. We like, it's a pull-out couch. And even then, we do now have the floor space. 
Kasten. Dual Kasten again. <laughs> yeah, hang on. I'm about to jump out on my phone. Oh, oh, oh this is Rev's sword. dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Daddy, you missed it. <laughs> oh my god, Dad, I, I have so much to Lots tell you. <laughs> Daddy, you I have so <laughs> many things. <laughs> Oh, no. Um, Daddy, did you know that you've been fisting the uh, ship's main ports for a long time? I think it's a little sore. All I'm going to say <laughs> is, at least you know it's not a two-second job. <laughs> Daddy, we really He's could use stamina. you on this mission. You better teleport to us instead of chilling on the ship. D yeah, this is chilling like a villain. This is this is why I made the whole teleport mechanic for our campaign in, for situations just like this. Because oh, life oh. happens. Because <laughs> life ah. happens. Um, Carly, you have an announcement. Yeah, I um my first photo shoot in our new apartment was Samus Aaron, who's actually in the video game that this is based off of. For, mm -hmm. those, for those of you who somehow missed it, The Great Poison is my tabletop adaptation of Metroid Prime, specifically, because I love Metroid. Didn't D&D &D mom say that she get Like, didn't D&D &D mom guess it? Like, right off the bat? No, Someone did. Um, Soul did. Soul did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are there any other announcements before we get started? I'm baby free for a weekend, and I don't know what to do with myself, so... Go go out with Ty. Go out. He works. The, oh, yeah, work. that's upsetting. I'm sorry. Today's <laughs> my last day off. I start back again tomorrow. And all of the shops will be closed at 10 p.m. So oh, no, I can't um, really go. Now with me. Oh, You're not you gonna show so, that uh, late. <laughs> oh, guys, wait. I think Sabrina has something. Yeah, my girlfriend's like right next to me and she's playing Red Dead Redemption with a bunch of other people that we we know. So if you hear her laugh or anything, I'm so sorry about that. My mic will pick up everything in this damn room. You're totally no worries. Fine. all good. I haven't heard her yet. Yeah, I got you. She's trying to be quiet and I told her she didn't have to be because she's playing with a bunch of other people. Oh, so. <laughs> girl, you're fine. We love you. Um, okay. Are there, are there any other announcements before we get started? Uh, my campaign is getting closer to happening. <laughs> I'm so excited! I just sent you my character sheet. Yeah, no, I know. I need to. I need to campaign. build. So I think I'm gonna bring in one of my characters from Luani uh, instead of. Uh, um. You are definitely going to have to be the last person I let in because now we're at seven people in the campaign. Oh, you can't, you can't go with ten like I almost did. Come uh, on. To be fair, to be fair, I am people. going to tell you all: never do a fourteen-person campaign. It <laughs> oh, is extremely difficult. I've done, I've done a ten-person campaign as a DM of almost like five years isn't yeah. this the very reason why they have like that thing i think they're called adventure leagues where you get like multiple yeah. campaigns going on at the same time <laughs> yeah. but they're all in the same like world yep yeah yeah do like you have, have at least up. um three to, to four DMs. epic campaign what you want to do with that you i have a campaign a good team like that together. And I mean, you want to make all of them build the world together, and then they all make their own adventures, and everyone is a party, and also the DM for one of the adventures, one of the lives within the world they're all working towards. What's so funny is I didn't expect you guys to like use all your RP characters for my campaign. Listen, Josh brought in Benedict. I felt obligated to bring in Astrid. Okay. Well, I mean, a married couple is a fun concept for a campaign, so I'm, I'm down for that. So. And, this is, and this is technically going to be my first time using my new perfected uh, rendition of Dastin in a That's campaign. That's why I think Brittany should bring Demi. But I have Demi in the hell, uh, hell of a boss. Then make a second Demi. I have like three Dastins in my profile. I don't know if I can do that, man. Not dimensions. me with like, not me with like five sacks. Don't be a hoe. Ho. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I think I'd play her straight barbarian. Not to then. give away too much. Ooh, I'm, I'd I'm love really, that. I'm Wait, really Liam was talking. Oh, sorry. Not to give away too much, but I'm really excited for you guys to see uh, Jen uh, Blissyful's character because she's like her character Reach. is going to be like the polar opposite of all of you guys. Like, while all of you have a chip on your shoulder, all your characters have a chip on their shoulders. 
she, her character is completely like okay and fine and like sunshine such, and rainbows. Yeah, sunshine and rainbows. Basically, we're, we're gonna crush that super quick. I mean, if we were gonna get <laughs> oh super technical, Dastin doesn't know he has a chip on his shoulder. It's just, right. Like, it's there. But oh, like, he just she has doesn't a even have anything that Dastin has. That's the thing. So can st- they can still hear you. That's okay. What? No, I think she's talking to her girl. Ah. I don't know. I'm saying that's okay. Yeah, she's having she's having technical problems. Hold on. Oh, Everybody no. has technical issues tonight. Yep. Yeah. Um. La- while Sabrina kind of works on that for a moment, uh, last call. Does anyone have any announcements? Yeah. So my Sam is Aaron. Pictures are fire, and Evan took them. So go check them out on my Instagram at Carly Pearl Cosplay on all my socials. Oh, I I do have one more. Oh, I prepare. I premiered my self-made uh, VTuber uh, this week. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, I've been playing Pokemon Arceus with him. Ooh. Oh my god, I want it. Wait, I have a question. Is there two versions of Pokemon Arceus or just one? I think if... there's only one. There's just one. Because okay, te- good. Because technically, I gotta buy Arceus two copies. Is, because technically, Arceus is still technically a spin-off title. Right. I heard it's the it's best fun. game though. Like I, I really want to. I want to run into a Taurus and get yeeted to the next town. The this, um, this is this is what Pokemon as an adventure should have been as a game. Right. It, it it does. It really feels like it's taking the original Game Boy games and putting them in a 3D environment. Aww. So. Nice. Um, okay. Final last call. Any announcements? No. Nope. Let the games begin. Uh yes, and let the, the games begin. And for a f- and finally, Sorry. <laughs> you're I liked it. And finally, <laughs> for the first time in a long time, Brittany, Ty, you guys still there? Uh, Brittany's using the restroom right quick. Okay, we'll we'll wait until she gets back because I okay. I want to be able to start the episode with the full team here. Makes sense. So is, if I it's... if I was in the dark. Uh, you guys would see my new headphones glowing rainbow and like the <laughs> the keyboard and the mouse matching it. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, yes. I've got to say this right here for the first time in <laughs> forever. Been... In forever. <laughs> it's been a while since we had the whole team. Oh man, it we're living a dream. <laughs> I've fallen down a hole. Carly, get out of the hole. But it dresses. Carly, get yourself out of your hole. Get out of the no! hole and go find some raindrops and roses. And whiskers on kittens? No. No. Sticking my dick in rotisserie chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to fuck the fear turkey? That is not the song. Yes. <laughs> yes. No. I'm going to fuck the fear turkey. That's Fo- from follow Big me Mouth. On, follow me and on I appreciate follow me. No, it's not from... Follow me on Twitter on the Crimson Fucker. <laughs> it is from Big Mouth, Evan. <laughs> but it was first in Helsing Abridged. Helsing really? Ultimate Abridged? Yeah, that's oh, where I know God. it from. Like almost, like almost a full decade before Big Mouth came out. Oh, I'm gonna go now. I know what I'm not watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what Big Mouth is. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I'm just reminded of that intro of we have gotten numerous complaints of your resident servant who calls himself the Crimson Fucker. The Crimson Fucker. Also known as also known as that. As I like bring my <laughs> as I bring my like red hair out. Okay. <laughs> so you okay. want an apology from me? I figured, but did not want to assume. <laughs> You know, one thing I will, one thing that I love is sometimes those cases where abridges, even if they're not better, they still have a story that's on par with the original. Oh, yeah. I, if you haven't watched it yet, I recommend the official abridge of Sword Art Online. It's more canon than <laughs> oh my God. It, it, show it, it, <laughs> the story that they wrote for the abridge is actually legitimate better than the actual show. For- I refuse to this think is. that the original is canon and the abridge is canon. For like, for example, mm-hmm. like this this isn't a spoiler because like that show is like a decade old, so mm-hmm. I don't give a crap if it no one's it's seen it. But the, 
it it has the whole classic <laughs> ending of like, well, why did you? He do doesn't it? want to hear it. <laughs> Steven, I'm sorry. Why did you do it? Why did you kill so many people at the start of this whole thing? And he gives the same BS answer as yeah. God. I don't even after know so, anymore. I don't even remember anymore. But in the abridged, they like totally call him out at like that. Like, are you serious? What? <laughs> and he goes, no, of course no. not. How like, ridiculous would that be? <laughs> no, I did it. Be- I did it because of Metacritic. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yep. Just a hint for all of you. If ever I take my headphones off, it is just to prove a point. I can still hear what's coming out of these headphones on the other side of the room. Oh, oh, oh gotcha. Fun. Oh, shoot. Here, do you want to close the door? I recently watched the most of lads, Smiling the Friends. I wait, highly recommend. Wait, Liam, what were you watching? Smiling Friends. What is the Smiling new Friends? Adult, uh, adult Swim cartoon by Psychic Pebbles and Mike, Michael, uh, Michael Kosick. It's about these. Um, it's about these weird characters who go around trying to make people smile. It's a really, really funny cartoon, honestly. Oh God, that animation is horrifying. Yeah, but it's great. Now turn them back because it's like CGI and stop motion and all kinds of ones. It's really fun. Oh, this is nice. Looking this up. Oh God! Nothing absolutely. beats Arcane's animation. Facts. It's, Wait. it's basically just all all. It's all like Newgroundsers who've made a cartoon at this point. Oh God! Absolutely the way, not. I made it. While we're waiting, I made a cartoon on Newgrounds. Oh, you did? Oh yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. Stick Wars. Yeah. Nice. Of course. <laughs> Me and my friends. Yeah, we hated Star Wars so much that we made scores. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey. I love I love Star Wars. Nice. Pretty By the sure way, it's gonna I, be a I'm while, so if you want to start, we can go for it. Everyone, what's one plus one? Two. 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 Depends. It could be a bigger one. Oh my god! <laughs> what is, is that? A hint. Or is this that a hint? This is a hint. <laughs> it's an ass. My ass. <laughs> this is. This is a glass vase. It's a window, waving through a window. I would put a goldfish in it and a plant. I keep forgetting, <laughs> I, I keep forgetting they're making a new bastard anime. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah. Why do you say we get Me started? and my girlfriend are working uh, on Witcher. Ooh. Heck yeah. That's All right, one. so I just I just got the green light from <sighs> Brittany. She's still going to be a hot minute, but she wants us to go ahead and get started. Um, all right, so with that being said, a um, little bit of a late start because we're kind of goofing off, but hey, what, what campaign starts on time? It's been a while, so we got to, you know, get it all out. Yeah, and we, it's we been do. a while. <laughs> Team building <laughs> exercise some more. All right, well, with that being said, let us finally continue with The Great Poison, episode the 8. The Great Poison. Carly, let me fucking narrate. <laughs> <laughs> episode <laughs> 8 you me a finale you made that rhyme you didn't mean to did you the great poison episode 8 snow and steel I want to hear the balloons <laughs> uh, <laughs> I heard every carefully somewhere. lives with you uh-huh. uh, I'm not sure where Stop! <laughs> that is electricity. <laughs> the void of space can be especially dangerous. You all shut up. Shut up right now. <laughs> the void of space can be especially dangerous, and that is something that the crew of the Black Star have become very familiar with. Venturing deeper and deeper into the many regions that comprise the somewhat afflicted planet called Talon IV, the Black Star Mercs find themselves now in a snowy, snowy, uh, freezing valley, which has been known to be called the Fendrana Drifts. It is here that they found that there are many buildings here that seem to have been of been created by the Valshaloth, the ancient extinct race, possibly, 
of aliens that used to call this planet their home. After going through some ruins, they were able to find many secrets. There F in the chat. F, F in, the, in ch the chat. Steven's gone. Ah, oh, crap. F in the chat. Daddy, no. Daddy, Daddy no! no! <laughs> <laughs> he was frozen for a little bit, and then he probably has to, like, reboot it. Hey, R and R access. Thanks for thanks for watching us, and thanks for the F in the chat. Um, You're welcome. F in chat. F. All right. So, after venturing deeper into the recesses of the drifts, they then found themselves within the ruins of what looks like a Valshaloth village, and it is here that they were able to finally discover what these people seem to have called the affliction of this planet. Just a single phrase repeating over and over on what looks like a scratched piece of wood. The Great Poison. Roll credits. <laughs> Black Star Mercs. You are once again standing um close to the edge, though, within the ruins of a completely wrecked stone village. Um, the ruins themselves seem to be just as old as the ruined city that you saw in the desert region. And it honestly looks as though that there's just little to no sign that people were ever here. I mean, you don't see any remains of the Valshaloth themselves, just homes wrecked, tattered, even to the point of just completely <laughs> turn, turned to dust and ash uh, furniture, or what you can only assume is furniture. It's here that you are truly now starting to see that these people didn't just vanish. Something truly terrible did happen to them. So... That happened here, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> So, crew of the Black Star, what do you do? I think an investigation check is in order. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't remember. Could we see the light from where we were standing? Uh, yes. There is there. While there is like high stone and ice walls all around you, as well as the ruined the ruined village buildings, uh, you can still see the open sky above you, and you can still. Uh, clearly see the blue the blue beacon of light um you still can you can tell pretty much where it's going but like it just goes on far and it goes through like clouds and mist you really can't tell exactly how far it's going you just have a general sense of direction yep. um so Kasten, bite you guys wanted to roll a perception and an investigation uh, that works bite are you up for that I'm up for that. I'm rolling perception. Fuck this. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. So, okay. So, bite because you're rolling perception. You're basically gonna try and get a general lay of the state of the village and where things are right now. Yeah. Kasten, is there something specific in the village that you wanted to try to get a gander at? Um. Maybe. I rolled a sixteen. Okay, we'll get to that in a moment. Let's wait to hear what Kasten rolls. It, maybe maybe okay. the great poison sketch thing that you described. All right. The great poison. Yeah. What is that? Uh, okay, then that is... Uh, 12. All right. Um, actually... You both not bad on both of your parts. Okay. Uh, Kasten, because you were the one who wanted to do the roll first, I'll start with you. Um, right. You're looking at this stone tablet that has the great poison just scribbled over and over again, very much in the style of, like, all work and no play make Danny a dull boy. <laughs> um, but it's weird, though, because close to the top <laughs> of the tablet, while you obviously you can't read these ruin these runes, um, for the for the sake of expediency, we'll say that either Zachary or Reva is like standing next to you and is just kind of like live I, translating this. I can. Okay, since so I am here. Okay, Reva. 
Okay, so Rev is standing next to help my man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're right. Okay, so Reva <laughs> is standing next to Kasten and it is basically live translating this. And Reva, because you are actually reading this, you don't need to roll an investigation. You just see it. Um, Kasten, um, you yourself cannot read the, the script because it's just in a language you've never seen before. What you are able to... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what you are able to notice, though, is that close to the top of the tablet, the script, the runes, do seem to be pretty, pretty standardly written. As you get closer to the bottom of the tablet, though, they seem to look more like chicken scratch, and just like ev the rune script themselves is starting to look disproportionate in some areas. And then once you get to the very bottom, it, ju it just looks like someone took their claws and was just scratching the bottom of the tablet. Like, it is just in I illegible. I was there about any... to say, is it scratch? Oh, go for it. I'm sorry, Liam. Is there any, like, skin or anything around? If there w if there was, it has long since turned okay. to dust. So this was a long old. time ago. All this right, was a ahead. very yeah. long time ago. Right. Uh, bite, for your perception check, yes. you rolled a 16. Um, you get, you, um, you don't really split from the party, but you kind of step away from the group just to kind of get a general lay of the land all around you. Um, it looks like this village was made inside this tiny little, it's not, it's like a very, very micro box canyon. It's just this tiny little valley with just high stone and ice walls all around, two passages, the one that you guys just went through to enter this area, and there seems to be another one just kind of on the other side of it. Um, they seem to have built their buildings just along the perimeter, and it's just very open um, in the center. You see a couple, like, snow snow piles here and there. The snow is lightly falling, um, and everything is just, everything is just wrecked. Um, at this point, though, you can't really tell if it was wrecked from damage or mm -hmm. just age and natural wear and tear. But mm -hmm. the, this place, this place has been told. Um, at that moment, though, as you guys are, as you guys have been just scouting around this area, just kind of milling about, there's, you hear some popping in kind of within your group. Uh, it's like, it's like in the center of the circle that you're in, you just hear, and suddenly this, what looks like green sparks, uh, suddenly appear until it suddenly turns into what looks like lightning bolts jutting around over and over again, just in all directions. And just from in just the middle of the air in the space, you see what looks like a silver sphere that just kind of forms out of nothing. And it's just holding there for a moment before the sphere itself suddenly just dissolves. And uh, all of a sudden, Daddy and Analon are just standing there. Oh, hey, guys. I, I was about to say, can we please go 10 oh, minutes did, without somebody trying you to come kill from? us? <laughs> you know, now that you, now that you guys kind of realize, this is the first time that you've ever um, actually used your teleportation <laughs> devices. This is also the hey. first time you've actually put them through a field test. Wait, hey, I, I'm I, glad I, they, work. they work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Daddy. Everything and... seems. No, no, no. Yep, you continue where you were saying. Everything seems to be operational. Um, Daddy, from what oh, you're good. able, from what you're able to tell, um, while you were in the ship, uh, you were able to get, for the sake of expediency, we'll say that while you were in the ship, you were still kind of monitor monitoring the team's activities up up until this time. So, uh, for this time, we'll just say that you're just caught up in what they were doing. But it has been a while since you are now doing actual field work. So yeah, you're testing to see that your body's still working. Um, everything is fully operational. Um, Analon, are you still like in tabaxi form or cat form for the sake of fur? Because this is like a very low temperature area. Yeah, because we're still in the cold. You're still in the cold. All right, awesome. Um, as you guys yeah. continue, as you guys continue to investigate the area, um, once again. You hear that familiar sound of what sounds like a very, very far off jet thrusters. And high above you, you can see, just like last time, what seems to be like a very small three man squadron 
of quasars with booster packs that are just flying high overhead, and they all seem to be going in a completely separate direction, um, not in the same direction that the beacon seems to be going to, but they clearly seem to be moving with purpose. Bite, Bite and Azriel are gonna growl. Just seeing them just makes them growl. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, that 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 wolf is like raising his hackle, raising her hackles. Like sure, the fur is like all standing uh, on it. He misgendered her. I have a drink. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, Carly. Yes. Rev is just gonna look up and just sneer. Yeah. Why? Hold on uh, one sec. Yes, uh, Daddy. Approximately, how high are they <laughs> flying? A pretty pretty darn high. Like, I, I would have to say, like, it's at least, like, 60 feet. You'd have to be clown and advent children to catch up with them. At exactly. 60 feet. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Oh, my mouse isn't working. That's fine. So, I still have some rope on me. I still have my crossbow. Which direction are they flying? So, the beacon is that way. They're flying It's adjacent, too late. They've already just... passed over beyond the edge of, like, the cliffside that's surrounding the village that you're in. They're out of sight. Okay. Um, does it seem like they're heading towards the general direction of the other beacon? The red one? Uh, <laughs> no. Because where you guys are right now in Fendrana Drifts, you don't even see the red beacon. Okay. But uh, they do. But all you all you know at this time is that this squad seems to be going in a different direction than the blue beacon. Oh. Why aren't they following the beacon? Maybe they're looking for something else. Well, they're sure in a hurry, so. Or maybe they couldn't find it. There's also the other beacon. We don't know where that is right now. That's true. I hope the red one we can't get into. Yeah. And I claim the red one, so fuck you all. (laughs) But I hope that means that they didn't get it first. If they're going the opposite direction. Well, they're not going. Is the beacon still there? Well, let me let me be clear. Let me be clear. Um, they're not going. They're not going in the direction of the beacon's origin in that floating temple. But they're also not going in the direction of where the beacon is going. They're going in a completely separate direction that's just away from the beacon entirely. Okay. Ooh. That's interesting. If we could get on that ship, we could probably figure out why they decided to do that. My guess is... I'm going to pull out the tablet and find their... Oh. Uh, Kirsten was talking first. Oh, sorry. My my guess is, is they either found what they were looking for or didn't. Which I know isn't much to go on, but it's the only two options. Well, Bite's going to pull out the tablet, and she's going to look for the nearest camp. Yeah, we had information on that one camp that um, they were taking, the or that was powering that door they were getting the phase on for. Um, so, so basically kind of answered to answer all of those things and bite you just straight up read this and this one time i won't have you roll a history check because you literally were just there when you got the tablet and you saw that log entry but uh essentially it did not just make reference to a separate power station that powers that gate in the magmore caverns but it also mentioned an entire like observation outpost slash laboratory in the Fendrana Drifts themselves. And that's when you notice, according to this log entry, though that squadron of jetpack pirates, they were heading in the direction of that observation outpost. Okay. So, uh, the tablet says these fuckers are heading towards the laboratory. Do we want to go there, or do we want to go towards the beacon? Well... Uh, well... I think we need to go towards the laboratory. I was about to say, we can deal with the orb later, or whatever, like the key, but that's probably more important. Whatever they're doing, they've already got a head start on us, so we need to try to catch up with them. Also, more phase on and a functioning jetpack would be nice. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, though, because if you get one, then you could make us all them if you just kind of followed their exactly. design. Exactly. I'll take it apart, figure out how it works. 
I'm cool with that. I, I, and I, I can teach you how to fly. <laughs> Those oh. cats know how to fly. <laughs> hey, I was, I was the one of the top two quasars. You bitch! I know how to fly. That's true, actually. <laughs> How's that? Well, so, either way, we need to get going now. Good to know. So that being said, what is your guys' plan? Do you continue? Uh, do you continue to follow the beacon, or are you going to go after those pirates? I want to go. After I'm going pirates. after pirates. Well, I don't care there was. Do. Well, here's the, there was those two. Uh, hold on a moment. I think Stephen was trying to say something, but yeah. Stephen, no Sorry. sound was coming from you. What were you saying? My microphone was muted this entire time. Ah, got it. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't ignoring you, man. Like, why can't anybody <laughs> we hear to. me? <laughs> so, the pirates, they have a direct line of sight to their location. If we are going to try and catch up to them, then by the time we've got there, they could have already left. So if we go chase after them, it's a if and but as to whether or not we're going to find them there or just the remnants of what they used to be. If we want to actually be always playing catch up, we'd be going for them. But if we are going to the beacon and they currently seem to be ignoring it, at least now we have a chance of getting to something before they can beat us to it. Because they're faster than us. Our only advantage is if we... Maintain a course and think smarter, not faster. Well, wait a minute. What about the teleportation thing that you guys use? Can't we just follow where Byte's tablet says that there are and just teleport there? It no, doesn't we work. can't it set coordinates work. into the Remember, teleporters. It, the, it's only a recall on. system for the ship. Yeah, yeah it only teleports us between the ship and where we currently are. That's I tried. <laughs> Though that is a point that before we saw those two that were heading towards the orb. Oh, that is okay. true. After the so, snowball fight. Or what during if, the snowball <laughs> fight. What if they like separated so that they could cover more ground? It would make sense. I mean, we can always come back and deal with the pirates. We should probably head to the orb. Yeah, it's first. Fine. It's that the only way we're going to orbs, it's the only way we're going to actually get a step up on them. Either way, if we spend too long arguing, it doesn't matter anyway. For sure. Um, Kasten, I don't know. We can be walking and talking, right? Walking towards the orb and talking. It's more like a creative discussion. Yeah, we're strategizing (laughs) so we can further develop our plans and actually get somewhere. Well, I'm fine with going to find the orb if that's the main. Um, That being said, as you guys all discuss this, um, you hear something that sounds like shaking and shivering. You look over and you see Captain Zachary, who's kind of standing away from the group, and he is looking deathly pale. And you realize that he, you realize that he is not doing well with this cold at all. Hey. Bite's gonna run over there and try and hold him. Aww. Okay. Hey. Captain, you okay? Um, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fine. I, it's just a. C- 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 just a, just a chill right now. Uh, by you run over to Zachary. By the way, I'm only doing this because unfortunately I was just informed that Brittany is not going to be able to actually play today's session because she just got hit hard with cramps. Ah, uh, like it is. It apparently is a bad one today. That's um, fair. So unfortunately, Zachary, um, she just kind of gives like a very polite nod to Bite and just says. Uh, all of you, just j- 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 k- 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 keep looking for either those p- 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 pirates or the p- p- beacon. And you see Zachary just very shakily, like, take his hands, press his wrist, and then all of a sudden, boop, he vanishes. Oh. Well, I, I guess I we're on our own this one. <laughs> To be fair, he has said that you're in charge when he's gone, or if he dies, so. I don't want to be. Well, well, unfor- <laughs> well, unfortunately, Carly, you got no choice, because it says here in the Discord, Reva is in charge. Direct right. words from Captain Zach. <laughs> All right, so um, I move that we go to the orb. Second, right. let's go. Okay. Oh. Do we have to, Reva? Yes. We do. We can 
deal with the pirates on the way back. And she just and she Convince just me. winks and I she feel, just winks. I feel like wrath. Nope, nope, nope. You have to convince me. Come on, because I will take Asriel and go to the pirates. I she. Reva looks. A, can I do a Reva, persuasion check? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I have, I have something really funny. Reva looks at Keystone and she just kind of gives him a knowing smile and then walks over, takes Bite's <laughs> head in her hers and just says, oh, Come on, I know you like making me happy. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, we'll go. <laughs> I didn't even have to roll. Azrael, <laughs> Azrael, come the on. Uh, the, the space wolf just kind of looks between the two women and just goes like, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> and and then I'm just going to give her a little peck on the cheek. That's really weird, actually. <laughs> well, I have a way higher persuasion, uh, like... So you should have than... done it. I'm sorry, I stole your thunder. No, no, it's, it's weird. Yours is plus three, mine is plus nine. Jesus. God. Whoa. <laughs> but you're so good with them late. Apparently. Wait, plus nine. <laughs> you managed to get it to plus nine, level five. Impressive. Yeah. I'll remember that for next time we gotta persuade somebody. Yeah. <laughs> God, All I right. need to remember this next time I try to play a bard. <laughs> all right, so yeah. with your decision now made, uh, you all continue on your way through the ruined village. As you do so, you're walking uh, closer to the edge of the basically the other side of this tiny box canyon where the village is. Uh, you make your way through the through the tiny little crevice. Um, it's very tight, so all of you have to be basically in single file. Um, and it's one of those amazing, like, little ice tunnels where the light kind of dances and you can see kind of your reflection, kind of like a hall of mirrors. So oh, cool. Um, as you continue to make your way, um, you then find yourself in what looks like an even more massive canyon. This one, however, looks to be way more artificially made than the natural one that the village was in. Uh, this time, the walls are lined with the classic arch stone architecture of the Val Shaloth. Um, on one end, on the far end of this canyon, you can actually do clearly see where the beacon is going. That being said, though, you don't, at that moment, you don't see any way of getting through that wall of the canyon to where the beacon is going. It's just like solid stone and ice right there. So it's not just solid ice, it's stone and ice. In in this in this particular area, yes. There's like some there's some portions of the canyon that are naturally made, but the majority of it seems to be ma uh, Valshaloth made. Um, um ho however, you do notice that there's one section of this canyon that looks a little different than the others. Pretty much everything you see is just stone, ice, and uh, just stone, ice, and just natural earth. You do see up top, close to the top of one of the canyons, what looks like a part of the stonework that Valshaloth made, but it has, like, metal framing over it that really clashes with the style of it. And what looks Does like it some look almost like a door? Um, it, look, it looks like some kind of like blinds shutter that seems to block uh, wherever that passage is going. Because the DM didn't want us to spend like 15 minutes trying to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Vox Machina. Um, Still gonna do it anyways. <laughs> fucking doors. <laughs> okay. This isn't a door. It's a thing of evil. <laughs> it's a thing of evil. I'm going to find a window. Right. Yeah, I fell, I fell out, out of the window. window. <laughs> <laughs> so can we fight the door? <laughs> How high up is going to, uh, so so bites going to go through the the curtain without any fear because she doesn't give a shit. Oh, I didn't know it was just a curtain. I thought it was like you had to just go through it. No, it's like a it's like a metal shutter. It doesn't look like the camera shutter doors that you've been dealing with. It's like someone you know how you know how when they close down malls they put like those shutters oh. down from the top down that blocks the door My themselves. Time has come. That's, uh, can that's I, what they look like. Can, can I look I, at the bottom? Well, fuck this thing. I'm 
pulling it up. Wait a minute. Can I get through, make myself teeny tiny, and can I get through and try to, like, figure out how to open it from the other side? Um, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Um, Reva, I want you to roll me an arcana check to see if you can successfully control your shrinking ability to see if you can do that. At the same time, Bite, I'm gonna have you roll a strength check to see if you can just muscle the grate open. Whoever well, ro- can wh- I try to help that? Wh- whoever rolls highest wins. However, if you're, both of your rolls suck, both of you fail. <laughs> That and smug and fucking face on Carly right now. And Steven's, uh, Steven's <laughs> I getting... got a five. I got a, <laughs> yeah, I got a dirty 20. I got a five. Fuck me. <laughs> Shitty. But wait, wait, wait. Daddy. Out. But wait. Daddy yeah, wanted to over. help her. So doesn't she get to roll with the advantage? I want to make it fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. wow. Oh. All right. That was Bye. catty. <laughs> All right, so bite, bite. Since you technically already rolled, I will give you one more roll. If you can either okay. match a dirty twenty or beat it, we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh my god, no! I got a natural one. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, so <I'm> five. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! It says seven plus three, tw- ten. Wait, that's a seven? I thought that was a one. No, nope, that's a seven. Yeah. But the numbers look so fucking it weird. It doesn't matter, I'm unfortunately. Saying, yeah. 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 I got a dirty 20. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Right. DM. I didn't mean to jump I got a 10. You're fine. You're fine. Reva, so you successfully, you successfully, like, concentrate. You feel like the little purple flame inside of your chest kind of light up for a moment. Your body bursts in purple flame, and that, that flame shrinks down. Hi, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, back in action. <laughs> All right, Reva. Uh, okay. Re- All right, Reva. You easily strut your stuff, and you and you just walk right through that grating. Uh, once you are pe- once you are at the other side, though, your body once again bursts into purple flame, and you are once again normal size. Oh, that's kind of fun. All right, do I see any way to like open a door, or, like uh, or you- to open the grate? Sorry. Uh, you do. Uh, roll me a perception check. Oh, oh. oh, we didn't even check that on this side. Yeah. <laughs> we just we was like, let's do it on the other side. Look, man, I just really <laughs> wanted to use that. I got excited. I was like, oh, my time has come. I got, gun, my dude. <laughs> I got a 12. All right. You are able to successfully see that um, there seems to be some kind of scanner device uh, right next to the door itself. Hmm. With, right. Like a hand palm or something, or what are we talking about? Here? Um, you don't see anything that is like designed for a palm. It just looks to be some kind of like pressure, like like a giant button device that's meant for a hand. You motherfucker! Is this that? Like, yeah, really I'm immediately shitty like, level in like the that. game. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hand on it and I'm gonna press it down. All I'm right. gonna brace for impact. <laughs> <laughs> what What are you guys talking about? I know exactly what this is. I don't trust I've... the Vashala and I trust the DM even less. <laughs> I tell you, there was this there was this video game that I used to play as a child that was very similar, I'm finding, to Metroid. That was the Jungle Book video game on a Game Boy Color. Oh, and it was like all of these different like puzzles and shit like that and there was this level where you had to like figure out how to get you through but then had to get like a ton of these other wolves through and it took me fucking days to figure that shit out all right um you press your hand on it the panel glows green um you hear a bit of a ding and then the shutter opens it looks like it was just a button (laughs) wait it's not closing no, it's opening. I was triggered. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's triggered. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it was like, I didn't even need to shrink down to go through. I don't know what I was. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so Reva, <laughs> Reva has opened the way. And beyond you, this is definitely not Valshaloth design. This is definitely Quasar design. This tunnel is metal 
and a lot of shoddily made tech. But it's functional, and it's actually kind of warm in here, too. It actually kind of feels nice. Oh. Um, but this Only is... Captain Zack just stayed with us for just a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit longer. Uh, but this is clearly Quasar made. Oh. All right. Do you guys proceed? You guys recognize this, yeah. right? Because I recognize this, and I hate it. I mean, I I was never I on a Quasar it. ship, but, you know, I kind of recognize their handiwork. You said that was a load of shoddy tech. Mr. DM. Yes? Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, Are there... For me? Yes, for you. Okay. Um, are there anything that could possibly be seen as security cameras? Um, you have not progressed far enough down this hallway to see. Okay. You, you guys, you guys are still at like the doorway, sort of. Is there any way for me to keep my eyes peeled for that as we um, walk? Um, as you guys, if you guys, do, well, let me ask you guys this. Are you guys going to try and continue trying to figure out how to get to the beacon, or are you going to change objectives and now enter what looks like a quasar base? Oh, we so I guess stick we... with the beacon and keep this in mind for later, it's probably. It's your decision, Reva. You're the leader. But, uh, um, are yeah, we Reva, still... make a decision. <laughs> a little bite? Are we still, like, on the same, like, direction of the beacon? No. You, got, you guys are, like, facing this way. The beacon's going that way. But like I and said, there was the... go ahead. No, you first this time. And there was no way towards that yet. As far as you could tell right there, no. It looks like it goes beyond the top of the canyon, and on that side of the canyon, you didn't see any platforms or doors or anything. I mean, really. unless we want to climb a canyon, I feel like this is our only way. So uh, we're 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 going. We might as well. Go ahead, Daddy. <laughs> Okay, uh, are we able to shut the shutter again? Um, so we can get it back down, then we open that. Try pressing uh, the button again. As far as you can tell, yeah, I mean, this seems to be just a simple switch device. Just press the button again and it closes the shutter. Can I ask one of you to shut the, the shutter the and then open it again? It. So, next time they're opening it, I'm going to grab onto the shutter and see if it will lift me up as it's going up. So I can get to okay. look at the top. Oh, I'm down for this idea. I'm going to press the button. <laughs> okay, guys, the guys, 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 guys. Yes, Carly? I DM'd you. Because that's what Josh does, and it actually works a whole lot easier. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, guys, if I'm ever narrating, just put your hands up. And, like, uh. as they go, <laughs> like, just kind of, like, be like, hey, I mean, it, it sucks for Analon, but if, like, you have to say anything, then just, like, you're the exception. Analon, you get a free pass for talking. Yeah. Is there a hand up button somewhere? No, but you're Oh, that'd be really <laughs> handy that for a Zoom. Was. Oh, no, I've done this one. That but anyway, the the question remain. Uh, so, Daddy, you wanted to see if the if the shutter could like lift you up. Yeah, so I can get a view of what it was like on the top. Um, unf I'm gonna tell you this right now. It doesn't really work like that because there's like a ceiling above you. It like rolls okay. up into it. it that like rolls sort of up thing. into it, and it moves okay. slowly too. So there's like it's it does it's not gonna work like that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is like an interaction. This is not one that I'm gonna be talking over. So if like I said, I think that we should just keep going. And check out you the tech as we go. You think we should just go. keep going? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Check I'll out the take. Tech. I'll take yeah. a look at the tech as well. Just. All right. I've been Screw with any quasars we find. All right. I have been. By the way, I do apologize for like that. But if it's like an inter. If it's like an interaction between characters, like I'm gonna leave that up to you to decide like who's the next person to talk. But if I'm Got talking, you. um, then go ahead and raise your hands. I was just trying to help so that no, you know. no, no, Carly, Carly, stop that. You were helping. 
I, I was I was fine. I was He's just... clarifying. I'm clarifying. I know. I know. All right. I wasn't I wasn't upset or anything. <laughs> I was just stating you, a you fact. You put your fingers down. Don't do that shy anime ooh woo finger touch right there. <laughs> That's Lita's <Naruto> thing. <laughs> You get disadvantage on your next roll for that. Uh, you know what? That's fair. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's just head down this damn hall. All right. I've been waiting to use this music. I'm excited. I like how Evan has like his track set up. Like, no, no, no. I need, to I need what my I'm do for my campaign. I need my atmosphere. Um, there are these playlists of royalty-free music for D and D on uh, YouTube. Okay. I'll probably look into that. Um, you guys continue down this hallway. Um, again, this hallway is functional. It It's not, like, Federation-made, though. It just looks like someone just put a bunch of, like, steel plates up and just made a hallway. Um, so there's no real, like, actual architecture here. It looks like this. they focused more on function rather than aesthetic and fashion. Um, that being said, though, you don't see any, like, exposed panels or exposed wires or anything, so it's like, the hallway works. As uh, you, as you continue on, you don't really see any cameras, but as you're just about to round a corner and you see what looks like a main door into wherever this hallway leads, you see, hanging from above the ceiling, two turrets. And oh, God. And they're just kind of like slow left and right scanning. They don't seem to have detected you. You're not even sure if they have any kind of detection function or if they're remote controlled. You just see two turrets hanging from the ceiling. Daddy, do you have any like systems that can like short that out or any guns that you can like shoot those down with? I have my crossbow so I could do an aerial but I've got two things to say that might be a better option. First, I would like to click the quick save button at this point. <laughs> F5. <laughs> I like this isn't Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> and second, um, you said there was uh, tech listed around this corridor. When, when so I said, well, you, you took that statement way too literally. There's not... When I said there's not like shoddy tech all around, I was just trying to give a better impression of just how this hallway was made. It's messy oh. made, um, but there's no junk just on the floor or anything. It's it, made like it almost was in a hurry. It, yeah, this place, this plate was made in a hurry, and they had no time to make it look nice. They just wanted to know that it works, and then they were done. Got it. Okay, so well. can we wait for these horns to be facing away from us? Um, they aren't really going to do that. They're still just kind of facing the same general direction, and they're both just kind of like, they go a little to the right, then they move over, and then they point a little left, and then they just do that same motion over and over. Again. Oh, okay. So, as they're moving from the right to the left, I'm going to be walking up the right side and lining up his shots with the crossbows to try and get between the two turrets to get between to the central the position. Turrets. Yes, I'm trying to get to the central position to disconnect the torrents from the actual software. All right. Or from um, the hardware, I should say. Okay, so, Daddy, roll me a stealth check. Well, if they have cameras or something, I could have shifted into a quasar that we've seen. You, you can. That is a 15. Okay, well, Daddy, to, okay, Analon, to answer your question. You can shift your body, but not the mm -hmm. clothes you're wearing. Yeah, my armor would still be there, but they'll know it's my not you because you're... Be... makes sense. Um, Daddy, however, you said you rolled a fifteen. Okay, you just barely are able to just perfectly time your movements so that at the very moment that you think they're facing away enough from that side of the room, you put yourself to the right side of the wall and you just start to shimmy along it very quickly and then just before they're facing that direction again, you're behind the turrets. So you successfully made it but it was close. Wait, I'm behind the turrets? You're behind Okay, this is... Oh. Uh, basically, you, you got yourself into a position where the turrets themselves cannot see you. Perfect. So, if I'm behind the turrets at that position, 
I should look for any sort of uh, terminal that would cease to have any connection to Google Torrents. Uh, roll, me a per- roll me a perception check. There's no need to waste a shot if we don't need to. And a perception check gets me a... Four. So that's a no. <laughs> um, you're... You do. You just kind of do like a quick look around. You don't see any panels that seem to be connected directly to these turrets. Um, even though, even though you were, you were kind of like, even though you're a warforged or like you're a you're an artificial droid creature, um, you did kind of feel that stress, and you felt your systems kind of go in overdrive. So you kind of look pretty hastily. You're pretty confident that there isn't anything already. Your mind is thinking that if there. If these things are controlled by something, it's probably like a, another terminal somewhere, like a central security office. That's what you're already kind of assuming. Okay, well, I'll just aim up and shoot between the two turrets in All the right. center of this uh, turret system. All right, make me an attack roll. That's just like a that is a natural 20. <laughs> All right, you... <laughs> You perfectly, you perfectly line your shot up, and you not only are able to completely disable one turret, but the ricochet of your blast actually perfectly disables the other one as well. You timed it perfectly. Both turrets just kind of sputter, and then they just kind of hang limp. Okay, come on through. Nicely done, Dad. Steven, Bob. I'm so sorry. Nice. I have to ask. Are you in your bathroom? No, I'm in the front room. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, that is the largest bathroom I've ever seen. Sorry, no, I saw the person. It has a flat screen in it for some reason. <laughs> Your bathroom's as big as my fucking bedroom. Look, okay? I just saw somebody in the back doing their I hair. Like, I, I was like, why is there a TV in Steven's bathroom? And it was yes. bothering was like, the absolute in my shit out of me. I was like, I, I have to ask. I can't I can't hold in the demon any There's longer. There's also two doors, a kitchen. <laughs> Look, okay, I was curious. In their bathroom. I'm sorry. I never What's knew your me? name was George. What's beyond the turrets? I'm a monkey. <laughs> uh, 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 to answer Kasten's question, um, there w- there is a door. A door. This, ha- this, ha? this is not the same kind of shutter door. This one seems to be just quite a bit more high tech. And it's like a normal, like standard, like it's a square, solid panel, lifts up from the bottom. I have some a... kind of keyhole or something? Uh, not any keyhole, but you're not close enough to check right now. Can you? I just walk I'm... up to it and push? How high up are the turrets? <laughs> uh, Reva, you... I just want to try! <laughs> uh, Reva, you do not need to touch anything, because the moment you get close enough, the door opens automatically. Uh... Hey, look at that, guys! <laughs> well done. Oh, look, Reva's made of magic. Oh, boy. <laughs> How high up are you the turrets? Just shoot, bite a look. Uh, like, and I'm uh, like, watch yourself. <laughs> uh, tur- uh, to answer Analon's question, the turrets themselves are like 15 feet above you. They're they're hanging from the ceiling. Can I just jump up and grab one to try to pull it down then? Uh, roll, roll, I'm roll, sh- roll me athletics. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, I'll try and collect something from them, but I'm not sure if I can actually reach that high. <laughs> I know I should be able to. With a 12, that's not looking good, because... Now yeah, you're a- you're able to get in. You kind of get a handle on them, but they're just they're they're built in there tight. Okay. Hmm. Let's say I'd lift you, but I can't. Do you want to reverse I it can lift so you, you lift me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See if I can collect anything from them. Get them off, maybe. Daddy, yeah, roll, let's do it. Daddy, roll me a strength check. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Keep Poppy. <laughs> that is a nine. Well, dang. Uh, yep, doesn't work. Oh well, it was All worth right. a shot. Okay. Wait. So Reva, what's behind the down. door, Mr. DM? <laughs> Uh, thanks to Reva for opening the door. You see what looks like a... I walked through! (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> you see before you what looks like a large, um, I'm not sure if atrium is the right term, but it seems to be just kind of a central hub room that has all these other doors that seem to go to other places. And there's even like rafters and stairs that go up to this second floor of rafters that seem to go to like other hallways themselves as well. Um, you don't see any quasars in here. The room itself, actually, it, you feel, you can feel the hum of electricity and also what seems to be like steam power going through this room. So clearly there's power running through this facility. Um, in this room itself right here, you don't seem to see, you don't seem to find like anyone in here right now. Hell is everybody running this place? Well, this is disappointing. I was waiting for to kill somebody. Wait, what I'm if sure you'll get your chance. It, what if they're running it from a different place? Well, of course they are. All, well, so. what if this is all remote? What if this is all remote controlled? Oh my god, well, how long? Can we find any central ports? Yeah, they just set it up and it runs by itself sort of thing. And then they're at the main base, or looking for something specific. So, I got a question for you. Oh <laughs> god, what bite? <laughs> How long can you stay small? I don't know, bite. I don't think that was the time to test that. <laughs> Why? Did you have a plan? Because I was going to go to a camp and see if I could talk to them, because they know me. Wait, and you want me to like hide in your pocket or Do something? We even know you would they be are? hiding in in Azriel because you match her fur. I I don't know. I don't know. That seems kind of risky. You think Daddy could fastball well, special or ever when she's small? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We can make a makeshift parachute for when Rever can't speak again. Okay, well, like, so, let's, let's tiny, stop like fascinating on um, here. I, I yeah, we all like have the egg. our own ideas of what we want to do with Tiny Reva, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's stop. Let, let's focus on another thing. But what is your plan? Like, why do you want to go talk to them? Because I can figure out what the hell they're going to do and what they want. I, I, I know I, what they, their leader more than anybody else in the entire Quasar sense. I, I understand. However, do you think, and I'm not saying this to be rude, do you think they're going to trust you after you left? Yeah, small one. If wonderment. they don't, I'm going to shoot them in the face. Yeah, and then, then, the, and, that'll then let we're going to run you. into, and then we're going to run into a lot more problems. I'm just saying maybe we take a step back and maybe we, we, we use that but we refine it for later. Yeah. Perhaps I could you're go so you boring. Like, Come on. Wait, it's a later time. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. What were you saying, Houston? Uh, perhaps I could go with you and pretend to be someone who's trying to join. Oh, and like you capture, ooh, you know? And then you could have your like two if Zachary doesn't come back or three like kind of guards because it took you guys that many people to get bite back hey i don't Lobo, know bite Lobo, you... chicago thanks for the bits thank you ruben <laughs> thank, you, ruben. Ruben. Thank, you. Lobo, chicago. thank you i i just are you okay with that like do you want to risk that i would risk anything to get information I I know, and to I be just. To fair to bite, we are kind of at the blind leading the blind right now. That's so. fair, but I've I've negotiated with these people before, and it's not they're they're not good people. But and you're not me. Obviously, bite already knows that. I know. All right. <laughs> um, I feel like this is a conversation we need to put a pin in and talk about when Zach is here, because I he oh, might, he you're might no have, fun. He might have put me in charge, but I'm not the captain. I don't feel right making this big of a decision when he's not here. Like, we don't even know where anyone is right now. We can't even find any Quasar. We may be able to fix but that. I if we, do. If we look in this room, we may be able to fix that. 
this room does look to be a central area. Perhaps if we look for any terminals, we can see if this room does have any functionality of the base as a as a larger picture. He's just the I acting know where BS the captain. Are. How do you know that? The tablet I just got. They, it tells you where they are. Well, we know that yes. there's power bases. That's fair, because so they probably will be there. Again, I I feel like we need to put a pin in this and continue going down here to see if there's anything useful for information here. Are there any actual panels in this room at all? Um, the room is quite big. You'd have to venture further in to all find right. out. You guys, you guys are still in that entrance doorway this entire time. Yeah. Just walk in. <laughs> yep. Yeah, well. I did. Further. <laughs> Uh, all right, Keeping Asriel, an let's go. All right, I'm find out what the fuck is going on. Any major terminal. As you guys venture in, you guys, this place is eerily quiet. And again, all that you hear is just the very soft hum of power running through the facility. At that moment, as you guys venture a little further in, Asriel suddenly stops, and she just starts growling. I draw my gun. And she's just, and she's just kind of I'm like, going to stop. Azriel is like, her fur is just raised up and she's growling and she's just kind of like looking in all directions right now. I'm going to stop and, and because of Azriel, because she's my other half, um, I'm going to stop and my hackles raise too and I pull out both my uh, pistols and both hands. I'm going to ready my fist because their register is lethal weapons. <laughs> oh my, God. my bare hands. <laughs> um, I guess Drug, I'm going to look around to see if I can see what they're looking for. Oh, hold, All right. On. I'm... So, Analon, you're looking around? Yeah. All right. He's I'm going to follow Analon going back to back okay, okay, to make sure on. he's always covered. Hold on. Hold on. Kasten, what were you saying? I was just saying already my sword. Okay. <laughs> All right, Analon, roll me a perception check. Oh, yay. First roll of today. 19. All right. Good. Analon, as you are looking around, you're not really seeing much of anything, but then you turn around and you're looking in Reva's direction and you see standing behind her what looks like it, it's kind of weird, but you're seeing something... You can see through it. It's transparent, but it's kind of flickering and moving about, and it's rising, and you realize whatever that flicker in the air is, it sh it's shaped humanoid. And all of a sudden, this flicker, a blue blade appears in its hand right oh. behind you. behind you! <laughs> and, and I pull is, the trigger. <laughs> and that is where we take our break. Oh, shit. <laughs> All well. right, we'll be, we'll be right back, you guys. Um, take a quick 10, 15-minute break, get snacks, go to the bathroom. We will see you all in a bit. <laughs> all right. I do really like that plan, though, Serena. Like, <laughs> I, I really want to do it, but I, I don't feel right doing that without Brittany here. Because I'm like, that, that could be such a big thing that is just like, I really want to make this decision when we're all here. <laughs> this is why Wait, I you want Reva. Because I want Reva to be really small and hide in Asriel's fur, and then bite, like go into it and find uh, the leader, and have everybody question her fucking le hey, like, allegiance to everybody. We have audio I want everybody to question still. her loyalty. Oh, well, hold, hold up.
All right, and we are back. I hope everyone had a good break. It was certainly nice. All right. So, with that being said, are we all once again ready? Hell I just want to yeah. say, Sorry. whatever happens next is not our fault. You left us unsupervised. <laughs> um, you seem to fail to realize my power of being able to get control back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with that being said, Analon, you turn around and you see right behind Reva what looks like a shimmering humanoid figure as a blue blade suddenly appears in its hand and it makes to slash at her. Do I have to like. Okay. Can I, can I do some kind of like acrobatics check? Analon's the only one who sees this right now. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> can I be so cool and teleport back just in time and block the blow? Like no, no, Analog's the only one that sees it. I'm forever behind you. And what? I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna aim my pistol at you all of a sudden and what? try and shoot at the guy oh. behind him. No mercy, Percy. Behind her. <laughs> no mercy, <laughs> no mercy Percy. Percy. I'm not gonna do a sharpshooter shot because like that removes your grace. <laughs> Sorry, your grace. <laughs> Sorry. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Um, Analon, um, make, because you can see the blue blade, you can go ahead and make an attack roll. Okay. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, that's not bad. 24. 24? All right. Reva, you notice that Analon is raising his blaster right at your face. And um... he. And he Analon, what are you doing? He fires, doing? and that blast goes right past your head, and you hear a ting as all of a sudden you hear just this growl right behind you. You see a you see the form shimmer, and for a brief moment, you see a quasar in full uniform. This one's a different species that you've seen that you haven't really encountered before. This species kind of looks more like a mantis. And just and it's sl oh. it slowly backs away from you and the cloaking uh, reengages and now you can't see him. Well, so so oh, they gosh. have been here. We just haven't seen them. That really. being said, though, Sabrina, yes. White, White and Azrael know this species, don't they? Uh, roll me a history check. Uh, what is history? Intelligence. No, there is a history. Yeah, I was about to say there is a yeah, history. No, there's a history in your skills. But if you don't have it per, um, proficiency in it, it's just an intelligence roll. No, my history is different than my intelligence. 13. Yeah. Oh, no. Plus 9. All right. So, bite. Um... While you yourself have never actually encountered this race before personally, you are aware that this race makes up the most of, like, the Quasar's deep science, like, projects, as well as their security for said deep science places. Uh, these races, this race are known as, um, well, their, their race name you can't really pronounce in their tongue, so everyone just calls them Slicers. Ew. All right, guys, we're dealing with some slicers, so watch your fucking backs. Great, great advice, oh, Bite. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, You're welcome. Is uh, he still behind me? Uh, uh, Why don't you yeah. walk forward and find out? Now may I jump out and try to attack this thing? Uh, roll me a perception check first. All right. I'm just asking a question. <laughs> We don't know. He backed up and we, we cloaked the guy. Oh, that's true. I so we don't yeah, know. Sorry. Hold on. Do, do you ever roll damage for that? No, I, was, I shot the blade. I didn't. I don't know where he was. Oh, I just saw okay. the blade. It was the only target I had. I got a sixteen. A sixteen. All right, Kasten. You are looking. You are looking, and for just a brief moment, you see that kind of. Uh, you see that flicker in the air again, as you see that shape and it's quickly moving towards you. I guess a better way to describe how this looks is, um, think Predator. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Okay. Ugh. It's like a heat wave sort of thing. Like yeah, it's like, it's like, it's, it looks like, it looks like heat haze in, in a human frame. Okay. 
stick around. Um, so <laughs> knock knock. What? Um, well, you see him, so you can attack him if you want. Okay, so what what check is that? Well, you already did a perception check on him, so you saw him. So oh. now just do an attack roll if you want. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's a thirteen. Uh, unfortunately, thirteen just doesn't make it. You attack, and uh, however, this alerts this cloaked si- slicer, and it now knows that you can see it. So for okay. a, for that moment, it actually disengages its cloak, and you now see the slicer in full view. Um, Mantis humanoid wearing Quasar uniform, and it is holding that blue blade. It kind of sees you, and it's making a lunge for you, Kaysen. I need you to make an athletics roll now. Okay. By the way, we're not rolling initiative for this fight because this fight is going to be more like a puzzle than an actual initiative combat. Uh, 16. 16? All right. 16. You are able to just dodge out of the way before this slicer is actually able to get a hit on you. The moment that it does, the cloak engages again. While it was visible, could I see if I could see if what's making it cloak or if it was just like a race ability that it has? Roll me an investigation check. Uh, wow. Uh, 23. 23. Oh. All right. Yeah. Analon, with a score like that, you are not only able to tell exactly where the where the source of the cloaking is coming from, you can actually see what it is exactly from where you are. What you see is a device that apparently it doesn't bend light or any kind of visibility. Think of it more like it's like um how can I describe this? On the uniform of this particular quasar is a bunch of nano-microscopic cameras. Basically, what those cameras see on one side, it then projects on, like, a hollow screen on the other side. So it's not... So if anything, it's not like bending light or any kind of x-ray radiation or anything. I overheard what you were planning, Daddy. Um, (laughs) No, this is better. So basically, oh, yeah, so basically, it's just it's quite literally smoke and mirrors, but with hologram projections. Okay. At that moment, things are silent once again. Reva, I now need you to make a perception check. Alrighty. Perception. <laughs> Oh, God. All right. I got a four. (laughs) A four. Unfortunately, Reva, you do not see in time the next approaching slicer. And this one is going to be going after... Unfortunately. (laughs) Unfortunately. (laughs) This one is going after... Okay, so that was that. So this one's about to attack Daddy. And because Reva didn't see it in time, Daddy... You are basically open to be attacked. What's your AC again? Uh, give me one second. 12. No, 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 Reva, not your AC. I was asking oh, Daddy. I'm sorry, I got confused. 14. 14? All right, so that is a... That's an 18. <laughs> um, all of a sudden... All of a sudden, Daddy, you are forced down to the ground as, and all of a sudden your internal systems are detecting like severe damage at your back you take 13 points of slashing damage yes bite check your dms oh no um your audio is kind of quiet and like kind of fuzzy bite sorry check your dms can i i have a crazy thought can I try to do um, dissonant whispers at this thing the next time I see it? Uh, you can certainly try. Uh, you are going to have to wait to see if you can see it. Mm. Um, that being said, though, Bite, I now need you to roll me a perception check. You got it. Uh, 
Alright, what does it say? Seven. Seven? Unfortunately, Bite, you don't yep. see this one. This one, however, is going to be now attacking... This one is attacking Kasten. Kasten, what is your AC? Twelve. A twelve, alright. Man. It rolled a three. Hey! So, Kasten, just as you realize... All of a sudden, like, your instincts are screaming at you, and you just feel a slight breeze at the back. My Kasten senses. Your Kasten senses are tingling. <laughs> My Kasten tingle. The Kasten tingle. <laughs> I want that His signature move. <laughs> you, you, whip, you whip and look behind you right in time, just as that blue blade appears, and you just leap back just before it slashes where you were. And in that brief moment, the cloak fades. Yes, Reva. Can I do a perception check to see if I see it? You see it right now. The cloak fades, I just said. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna do dissonant whispers at it. All right. And uh, he needs to make a wisdom saving throw with a 13. Oh. Can I, uh, can I say at the uh, creature, why don't you go eat some larva in someone's garden? <laughs> 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 oh my god! It rolled a one! Wow. Right. Oh wow. That means I get double damage, motherfucker! Do not put so, that dice in dice jail, Evan. So that is. I got. Okay, so that's six. So he just hears. At that moment. That, at that moment. Wait, wait, no. wait, I'm not done yet. I, I get two, right? Because he got an at one, so that doubles the damage. Well, yeah, it's already doubled. It's, it's 12 now, and I'm. But here's the thing that happens, because, like, at that moment, because you're using dissonant whispers on him, all of a sudden, his cloak just starts blinking in and out, and he even dropped his own blade, and he just starts, like, clutching his own head, and you are hearing, like, hissing and clicking and screeching noises coming out of this. You don't speak Slicer, but this guy is letting out just a whole <laughs> explit just a whole blue streak of expletives I, right now. I just want to, like, I just want to lock eyes with him. And be like, think before you do what you did next time. Uh, this, for the blade. Oh. Uh, this thing, hold I'm not done yet, you both. <laughs> Sorry. This, this thing is like now just like clutching its head right now. And it's like, it's like in the fetal position on the side of the, on, just on its side on the floor. Um, Daddy, I, you, were, you were the first one to make. Uh, hold on, Sabrina. Daddy first. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like, gonna... oh my god, it's like it's like teaching a class. You gotta wrangle all your <laughs> You see, unfortunately, this is how I'm gonna be if people like if people are gonna start talking. I gotta keep the initiative order on who's talking here. So it's it's daddy, then Analon, then Sabrina. Sorry I don't have a camera. It would be much easier. <laughs> what? How <laughs> I will mute you. <laughs> That's fair. I'm sorry, I was kidding. <laughs> How far away are we from the blade? Or am I from the blade? Oh, like 10 feet. Okay, can I just go over and pick it up? I'm not going to waste time standing up. I'm just going to go over to it. Cause... Um. Yeah, you pick it up. This seems to be just a pretty standard blade that all quasars have. The blade itself um, is made of a very special kind of material that makes it sharp and keep its edge forever. It doesn't look like steel. It looks more like glass. Perfect. It's glass. Is it see-through? It's, it's, it's see-through and it looks like glass, but it is not glass. Of course. I'm going to try and hold the blade to its side and look through the blade to see if that would give any indication as to help me detect the flicker of the shield of the cloaking of any nearby quasars. Uh, it's like it's like looking through it's like looking through stained glass right now. If anything, it just makes everything even more blurry. So it's not helping you. Okay. Okay, I can walk into something with that later. That being but, said, now, yeah, Anal Analon, what did you have? Well, I was gonna go for the blade, but instead, since he's going for the blade, I'm just gonna cast mirror image. Say, I got holograms too, and now I have three copies of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and bite. What did you have? Uh, 
I'm still in Quasar Tech, like second in command Quasar Tech. So what would they do to me? Uh, you don't know yet because this one, this one right now is clutching his head as those whispers still going on. It's not even aware of the people around it right now. And at this moment, you don't really know if there are any other cloaked slicers around you. Daddy, I need you to make a perception. Uh-oh. Beep top three. That's a six. <laughs> <laughs> you you don't notice shit. Um Fally, I'm we looking through the shit. Through this, At that we found shit. <laughs> At that moment, um there is a chill, and that's when Analon, what's your AC? Um sixteen, but I have to roll a D twenty to see if it hits one of my duplicates or me. All right. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, it's hitting one of the duplicates. Do the okay. do the duplicates have their own AC, or is it just yeah, like it's, a Yeah, it's um, 10 plus my dexterity mod, which would be 13. So they have 13 AC. Okay, so it's attacking a duplicate, and... Uh, this slicer rolled a nat 20 on what on well, the duplicate. Well, that duplicate's dead. <laughs> it just disappears. <laughs> All right. This thing, you just see the blue blade for a moment as it just stabs right through the neck of the duplicate, like through the back and out the front. And then, and then the duplicate just kind of vanishes, and the cloak kind of flickers off for a moment, and you just see this one slicer just kind of look around like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> yes, Carly. I'm going to look at that one slicer. And I'm going to cast Charm Person. Oh. <laughs> and he has to make a wisdom saving throw at 13. All right. I'm going to look at him, and I'm just going to say, hey. <laughs> well, I'm I... not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Hey, why don't you put that blade down? No, no, Carly, you're doing it wrong. You have to walk up to, the sh you have to, walk up to him, put a hand on the shoulder, and go, <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, pizza. no. She's just gonna like go. Hey. <laughs> um. What's the what's the ace? What's the DC for charm? A wisdom of thirteen. Slicer is gonna say you don't get to like my. Uh. So that's a ten. So he is successfully charmed. And then uh. she's gonna say, "You got any more friends around here?" At that moment, the charmed slicer just kind of like it looks down at its friend who is still clutching its head. Um, <laughs> although he seems to have called down, though that's relative at this point. Um, uh, thank you for the flash, Carly. Um, <laughs> what? <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> um, he just kind of looks down at his tortured friend and then he just looks back up at Revan, just goes. <laughs> okay, um, tell you what, we'll let you go, but where are the rest of you? <laughs> I know you can speak common. You all can. All right, fine. I can speak common. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> you'll, ne you'll never escape me. I'm <laughs> despair. <laughs> Don't even think. <laughs> Don't even think about trying to escape. Greatest part of that movie. <laughs> I was just looking for a reason to do that. I'm sorry. Oh, I love it. Um, so this but guy he actually speaks common. He actually does speak common. Yes. Okay. Ca right. Again, again, this this entire territory of the galaxy is Federation controlled, and one of the things about the Federation is that common, or like English or Terran. Um, there is, like, a universal language of the Federation. Okay. And if you're part of the Federation, oh. it's, it's kind of a requirement to know that language. So, My yes. Bad. Is it called Terran and not Common here? Common, Terran, English, it's all the okay, same gotcha, thing, gotcha. honestly. Gotcha. Basic. Um, if you want to be a Star Wars nerd. <laughs> um, Come on. The... I know you're a basic bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh man, that I was, was well. Just helping charm them. <laughs> um, so this so this slicer is just kind of like dead eyed, although you you think it's dead eyed. I mean, this thing this thing is basically a mantis headed humanoid thing with like yeah, claw ha- claw hands. Um, it just goes like, we just have rudimentary security patrolling all vital areas. Majority of personnel are in the laboratory. Where's the laboratory? One floor up on the other side of the facility. Okay. Reva. And then she just looks at Kaysen. Ask him where the ship was going and why where it was, was leaving. The, where was the ship going? Why were you guys leaving? Wait, what do you mean by ship? Do you mean the three, like, oh, jet packy guys? Oh, those are jet packs. Those were just individual. Oh, my oh. bad. Here, yeah. I'll, I'll revise. I'll revise. Where were those jet packs going? Why were you leaving? They were not leaving. They were returning. They're here now. They brought okay. they brought back samples. Samples of what? The crater. I'm gonna keep an eye on the other one that's on the floor. Uh, the one the one on the floor is no longer clutching its head. It's just kind of now like <laughs> hugging itself in terror. Yeah. She's gonna go. Why don't you go ahead? Just sit down with your friend. Okay. And it just kind of he just kind of sits down on the floor. And just kind of like just starts rubbing the shoulder of his friend. And now stay there until I say you can't get. Up. <laughs> I almost, I almost, I almost want to take my sword and behead it. Same. I don't Ask want them him. to know we were here, and I don't, I want to hold of their tech. Ask him if he can see the others while he's cloaked. Or while can you cloaked. see the others when when they're cloaked? We just have a small device that tells us who in our team is in our general area, but it's only team specific. It is just us two guarding this area. All right. And what about the cloaks themselves? Hold on. We might make uh, use- Bite has a question. Oh, Bite was just going to walk up and be like, what the fuck are you doing here? Mm-hmm. I think it's only... I keep it only works Lena. for them. I yeah. think only Reva can ask. Uh, can ask them. Yeah, I with mean, Bite asking, it's going to act try. like normal. Like he would act any other time. He's just friendly to her and us. I don't even know if well, I. Well, they never friendly. attacked Bite. They fair. never attacked Bite, and they never attacked Azrael. They, That's fair, they, actually. Well, I think. Well, one of them. No, you just had to do a perception check. Yeah. They, yeah, that one attacked definitely... me. The bite was uh, looking at. She can definitely try. Go for it. Ask her. Or ask him. I do. I ask him. What the fuck are you doing here? The thing. I want to be a little more specific. Uh, the. Fuck the... you, Case Ten. <laughs> he does that. He's like, fine. <laughs> Fuck me, then. <laughs> Grab his job. <laughs> Please! <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> okay, but, I mean, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, the slicer just kind of, like, looks up at Bite and just goes, I know you. Yeah, you know me. Now, what are you doing here before I kill you? Because you know how insane I get when you lie. And at that moment, however, Reva, at that very moment, you just felt the charm break. And the slicer, all of a sudden, his face contorts in anger. He just goes, deserter, traitor. And he That's... just and he just lunges at fight. May, may I go for a swing now? Yes. yes. Yeah, it's like the headshot. Right. <laughs> because I have no more spells. Okay. What, 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 should I roll like an That's athletics, okay. acrobatics? May, what should I roll? Roll, roll a... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because Kasten's, Kasten's reacting first here. Kasten, roll me a... Um, let me see. Just roll me a basic attack roll. Because you're all kind of standing close together. So okay. this, is, this could still be considered a melee and, attack. And that's with the hit DC modifier? Yes. Would that be it? Okay. Yes. All right, because I'm using my sword, I guess. All right. Oh, fucking hell. All right, that's a <laughs> six. 
Um, a six. I can't do anything this episode. <laughs> a, a six. A six in this case doesn't kill the creature, but you basically sliced off his yeah. arm up to the elbow. And he and it just and he just kind of like he like spins in a circle from that and falls on the ground clutching his like exoskeleton arm. You just watch yourself. <laughs> I just got well, that. I thought you just channeled Iro there for a minute. No, that no that that was that was, uh, that was the guy from the Moss Moss Eisley Cantina. That's oh, got doing. you. Okay, yeah. yeah, yes, bite. So Bite's going to step on his chest really hard with her claws out, clicking into him. What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, roll me an intimidation check, Bite. Clutching my arm, bitch! What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> What's the intimidation? Is it charisma? No, uh, it yeah, there's a skill. It's a yeah. skill you can click on. Yeah, it's the same thing. My arm! It's can, not can yours I, can anymore. I, can I help her with intimidation? How, how how would you assist in this? Yeah. Well, holding up my sword maybe and saying, "Okay, I'm okay. ready to lose." I got a twenty-one. Ne I never mind. 21. He she rolled a twenty-one. <laughs> All right. Don't even need. I actually have a higher intimidation than Bite does. <laughs> Like that's not a lie. That's Wait, how true. how are you so? How do you have such high stats? I don't know. I guess a robot monk are strong. Yeah. But no, but 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 how he rolls? You're like Will Wheaton. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you won't ever compare me to Will Wheaton. I'm um, sorry. I, I was, he has his, here's the thing. Will Wheaton really sucks every day. He has his good days at least. Yeah. I I will just say I will just say this. One of the greatest things I ever watched was was a uh, matt mercer in a panel and he was asked like okay because it's a live stream how do you explain the will wheaton dice curse and matt's response was there is no explanation i don't know what kind of indian <laughs> burial ground that guy defiled but that man breaks math and physics yeah <laughs> then he, didn't he say like i won't even let him around me but we're playing the game. i will i will not let him touch me <laughs> don't blame him um, um, at that moment, Bite, this thing, this this poor slicer is now cowering in fear, especially with, like, it, it's moot at this point, but Kasten, just for the sake of his appearances, you're just kind of, like, lazily spinning your blade, like, behind Bite as you just stare at the slicer whose arm you just sliced off. You better answer the crazy cat lady before you lose the other arm. <laughs> or your face. I will crawl all. I will claw the fuck out of your face. So you will go back to the quasars here. and you will tell them that Bite was here. Well, there uh, goes the plan that's of a you. bad idea. Yeah. There goes the plan of you infiltrating them. Yeah. Uh, I was still infiltrating them. They don't give a shit about who I am. At Clearly that, they do. I disagree. Uh... At that moment, the the slicer is just looking at you, so pale and terrified, and just goes, "We're we're con we're conducting experiments. We've collected samples from the crater. Creatures, we found, not of this world. The leader, mm. he seeks to find a way to control them." You that won't. sounds interesting. At that moment, you then hear a very faint beep, 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 beep. And, and in oh, its own God. weird... Oh, you motherfucker. In his own weird way, the slicer smiles, which is odd for a mantis mouth creature like this. <laughs> and you just hear, that's it from me. And then his head fucking explodes. Oh, okay. Ew. Ah, fucking great. I hate that thing. Meanwhile, so meanwhile, the slicer who looks like he just saw the face of Cthulhu on the ground <laughs> just lets out a very short whoop, and he's still like hugging himself on the ground. Can I stab that one through the yep, heart? Do no, it. Can I just, no, don't, not, no, 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 no. I want his equipment. Go Wait, for the no, head. Something that won't damage him. the equipment. I'm going to take the other guys. So we both have the well, detectors and stuff. I, I think we should let Keyston do it since he said it first. But yeah, I said the other said guy. Still take his equipment there were two when people. I stabbed through the heart. There's well, I, two guys, I guess I can cast mending boys. on his equipment. So yeah. Well, I just want to be able to change into a Quasar and have Quasar 
a uniform oh. outfit look so I could be a quasar. Quasar the uniform. Cool. I mean, I you want the tech too, to but yeah, uniform. Really yeah, the tech Did is I the strip the mantis man, then stab him in the heart? <laughs> 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 okay, so you so you first humiliate him and then you finally put him out of his misery. <laughs> oh my god! My god. <laughs> it's the Skyrim way. <laughs> yes. Crouch behind and pit pocket all of his equipment and then kill him. Yes. This is why we never let Zach leave the group. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't have let us kill them. What are you talking about? Well, Zach is the it... most obsessed with clothes of anyone here. Uh, it's nice it's to be Zach wants to come back. Please, Zach's Zach, come trying back. to come back. Zach was waiting for all Zach of the fighting. Zach shows up. like, "Hey done. guys, what's going? What the hell?" Oh, <laughs> you why not? I want to get up right now. When Zach is like, "What the fuck did I miss?" Brother, he was so cold. He's got like charge. a new pair of like fur-lined gloves and like a thick coat on. And he's coming Brother, to the I warmest miss. place we've been so far in the cold area. <laughs> Bravo, I put you in charge. Listen, man, I try it. Okay, they outnumber me. I wait, don't know. so, wait, hold on. So, Brittany, are you back now? I've been back the whole time. I yeah, she... that before you break ended. Yeah. I literally have been sitting here waiting for you to introduce me back. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm... <laughs> I, I like the idea of Zachary coming back and seeing After all this. everything's Aww. done. <laughs> I'm like, hey guys, what, what happened? What the hell happened? <laughs> I'm, I thought you heard me. No. I thought you heard me. <laughs> Why didn't you DM me? Because I was waiting because I thought you heard me say I was coming back. I, that's I why knew I you were. I muted after the fight was done, and that's why I started talking. <laughs> Oh, 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 I thought, okay, I thought you said you were going to be back, like, during or before the fight. I misheard you. Okay. I Well, I can't be there during the fight. Yeah, that wouldn't be fair. That wouldn't be fun. <laughs> that would have been Zach useless. fucking useless. fight. Yeah, he wouldn't let us have killed them. It would have been so, so boring. At that yeah. moment... Just after Kaysen finally put that last slicer out of his misery and you guys started looting clothes and tech and whatnot, <laughs> another one of those silver spheres so appeared. fucked up! <laughs> another one of those uh, silver spheres appears, and it appears, and then it vanishes, and Zachary is standing right there, looking way more bundled up and much warmer. As they say, oh. back, looting Captain. corpses. <laughs> It's warm here, Captain. You can take most of that off now. As you can see, Captain, it's business as usual around here. <laughs> Why? Bite, Bite runs over and, and, like, hugs the Captain so hard. Like, oh my oh. god, you're back, finally! Oh, uh, 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 hello, Bite. Uh, are, are you okay? What the hell? I'm well, fine. I tried. I tried so hard. <laughs> got so far <laughs> but in the end but it didn't even end, matter I say even like it's like it's like they're children and it just goes out what it just goes through one ear and out the other bite wanted to infiltrate i told her we'd put a pin in that and i don't even well the know. good news is is that plan can still happen now because they're yeah. both dead yeah we, we left no witnesses yeah. what uh we didn't do one of them <laughs> Why are they naked? That's the most important question I have. Adelon wanted their clothes. Adelon I mean, I don't know. Kasten's the one who stripped them. That was a fucking A plus Kasten... improv, Brittany. Good God. Why? Adelon wanted their clothes so he could shift into He's like... like a. Hold on, I'm not finished yet. <laughs> Adelon wanted their clothes so he could shift into one so it would be better equipped for when I guess now we're, we are infiltrating them. I, I don't even know what happened so fast, okay? Reva, I put you in charge for, for five minutes. For it's five minutes. Been like an hour. A lot can happen in five <laughs> minutes, <laughs> Captain. I must have passed out when I got to the ship. Anyways. <laughs> Like, his hands are, like, wrapped around, like, Bite's shoulders, because she's hugging onto him so tightly. Because uh, clearly he has no idea what social interaction means. Um, That's but... what Kasten is there for. 
Kasten. Ace is a bitch. Oh my god, what is up? Like somebody's a bit jealous. Kasten, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. we'll talk later about stripping <laughs> people. Um, Anilon, we'll talk later that. about needing clothes when you can just. <laughs> we'll talk later about clothes. We don't have Quasar clothes until now. I do. Mr. DM. Yes. <laughs> May I investigate the clothes to see if there's any files or zip drives or anything that might be of information significance? Go right ahead. Investigation check. Excuse me. All right. Can I see if the, like, holographic projection stuff still is functional on the equipment? That, that uh, be... You also roll me an investigation. Okay. That would be a 13. Yes, a 13. Nope. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, bound to come eventually. Uh, to answer oh Ka- to answer Kasten, they don't seem to have anything of importance on their person. It looks like they were just a, a, a tag team of cloak security, and that's all they were. Analon, to answer your question, unfortunately with the one, not only are you unable to use said cloaking, but it's been pretty damaged. Can I check to see if we would be able to understand the technology well enough to potentially make repairs down the line? You can, but the only way to do that would be to go back to the ship. Because I think it's time we all headed back. I will take all of the equipment, put it in the bag for later. Then I was just Just at the the ship. (laughs) Well, now we're going back. I need a bath. (laughs) I mean, are we gonna abandon the orb before we, while we're this close to it? Oh, we went well, in the opposite, a du- in the direction point. to the side of it. We never. Well, there was no way towards, towards the it. This but this is so. How many? You said this was like a room that led to multiple different places. Well, here's my thing. I think that based on what they said, this is really just an outpost, and that there's honestly nothing here. No, it's also a laboratory. Oh my bad. I thought that was a different building. I misunderstood. No, outpost laboratory, it's all one thing. It's all a single facility. Got you. I well, So is this the one that led to multiple different locations? Like had different multiple pathways? Or no? Yeah, it leads to multiple different rooms in yeah. this facility. Okay. So they said it was upstairs, right? That's what you mm-hmm. meant? Yeah. Up, Got up, it. Upstairs on the other side of the facility. Okay. Okay. So why don't we why don't we head upstairs? Alright. And then we can head back to the ship and regroup. Yeah, Captain, what do you think? The laboratory, yeah. I, I mean, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's... Well, I mean... Let's go to the ship. You said there was I... people in the lab, right? Wait, are we going to the ship? I thought we were going to the lab. I thought we were going to the ship. Did we not just we say we were going to the lab? The lab, then the ship. The lab, then the ship? Okay, yes. let's... Let's just get Captain Zack out of the room with the naked bodies. He does not need to He's see flustered. anymore. He's flustered. You're so cute. He's, he can't see because there's naked creature prey mantis people. You get used to it. Well, <laughs> you'll be fine. It's okay. I'm here. They said He said there was people in the lab, though, right? More quasars. So, oh, good. I Reva. get to murder my own people. Well, Reva. Um, that was dark. Then why don't a couple of us put on these suits and see isn't, what we can do? Isn't that what he said? I am not putting on a goddamn suit case. I'll do it. I'll shoot, down. shoot me first. I'm gonna, okay, I'll shift into the quasar that was wearing one of the suits and put his suit on. Can I try put his uniform on? already. Anyways. Their butts I'm already have touched in Quasar me. Tech. I'm already in Quasar Fur and Tech and Clothes. Oh. They know who I am, so if you want to join in first, go ahead. But I'm going to kill the shit out of anybody that says anything. Carly's got her hand up. I, I'm going to have Reva shrink down. And for right um. now, she's going to like... She's gonna walk over. Well, actually, no, I'm not gonna have her shrink down yet. She's gonna be like, listen, I don't wanna do this, but I feel like that's the best option because a couple of them might know me. So I'm gonna hide 
in Azriel's fur. Are you That's happy? A good by idea. It? Are you happy by yes, it? Yes, I am very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy about this. Uh, Very I'm going, since this. we're gonna go to the lab, I'm gonna cast invisibility at third level on myself and just go invisible for an hour. I'm gonna look at Keystan because I know Liam has been itching for this and I'm gonna say, until I hide in Azrael's fur, I can ride on your shoulder if you want. <laughs> Fine by me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go tiny. And I'm you, gonna can hear ga- uh, you can hear uh, the gagging noises of Zach <laughs> while well, he's invisible. He's just like, she's gonna, she's gonna look at him and she's gonna get, you shut your mouth! But you can't see me! <laughs> you <have a> <laughs> so you're like, you most you're like talking are. into <laughs> the room. But I can hear you, you motherfucker! All right. Oh, yeah, can you see so, what I'm doing? Okay, yeah. guys, guys, guys. <laughs> so, so Zachary's invisible. Reva is tiny. Bite is foregoing a disguise because she's already wearing Quasar garb. So, Kasten is in disguise. And then what? what's the situation with Daddy and Analog? I shifted into one of the Mantis guys we just killed and put on their equipment. So like is their da- outfit. So is Daddy the only one who's undisguised? I have a disguise kit, and I'm going to try to see if I can make something oh, no. work. <laughs> can but we of put course, a... this is going to be a role. I mean, being can a we... Warforged, Daddy could just pretend to be, like, programmed to work That's for... fair, actually. I was going to say, can we stick a mustache on Daddy and call him Antonio? <laughs> <laughs> Hola. Put a bucket on you his could head. Say that bite... you... you could say that Bite just made a... Uh accidental android. Why is it that I'm suddenly thinking of Lopez from Red vs. Blue? (laughs) (laughs) That's what I was thinking. Alarma. Alarma. God damn it, Lopez! (laughs) Oh, I could. I could actually switch the invisibility to daddy, and I can do charm person as a senator's son, who's senator's dad thing, my bob, whatever you want to call him. (laughs) I could actually I feel just like charm Daddy people. I would have an easier time, like, hiding in plain sight than you would, Captain. Yeah, but as, yeah. as someone who has, like, pretty great coordinates, hair. I'm pretty sure I could just intimidate or charm my way through. I mean, if that's the case, Kasten doesn't even need to put on a I thing because you're Daddy's charming enough. If Daddy's we're... invisible, uh, Zach has the ability to charm people. He's very, like, sweet speaking. Right. That's his, like, oh, whole I'm thing. I'm kind of screwed because I don't Let's... have any more spells. I used all mine up in that unnecessary battle that we Let's, had. Let's may, let Kasten finish what he was talking. Plan, please. <laughs> Sorry. Is that if Danny's invisible, while we're talking to the rest of them, he could infiltrate some of the computers on mm-hmm. the lab. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. So Hold instead of. What's up? I was just going to say, do we really want to go into this situation where if it falls apart, we would be going into combat while Kali has no spells? So, it's we can I... pass him at the end. We have... Can... But I thought you... Her. Are you just have... pure uh, bard? Are you I not have... a monk? Oh, no, I'm a monk. No, I got they my fist so you just have... used all the spell slots. She's a better fister oh. than daddy is. <clears throat> Oh, even Daddy was like, "Why?" I have my fists of fury. So <laughs> technically have, speaking, I have my fists. They're registered as lethal weapons. <laughs> technically speaking, Curly uh, slash Reva could just use her monk abilities and fight uh, barehanded. Is there a way to get rid of the bodies that we killed, so they can't be found? Um, not that I'm aware of. Somebody asking, probably has a fire the spell. And I don't, can... which I was like. I have it too many rocks. Yeah. Evan, is there any place where you can hide the bodies? Uh, not really. This is kind of an open no. place. You can try to like tuck we them in a corner. Just... Can... I was going to say, we can just light them on fire yeah. until can, they just We can weaken the birdies this shit and put glasses on them and have them walk <laughs> up with us. <laughs> they walk so funny. Yeah, they'd be so naked though. <laughs> 
So, um... I wouldn't believe the night this guy had. <laughs> True. <laughs> and then we found this dude with him. Oh boy, let me tell you. Oh. <laughs> Why is that one bleeding from his chest? I don't have no idea. <laughs> he had a crazy night so with a cat can't. girl. If someone DM? does find the bodies, they won't notice who they were. So, DM, I have a question. Yes. Uh, what... Could I put the invisibility instead of on me onto Daddy and use only one spell slot instead of Wait, two? But I, I thought like Daddy would have a better time like hiding out in plain sight because we, we could just say that we made an ad an automaton. But if right, he's invisible, he can hack into automaton. the systems without oh, being that's a seen. Good also, point, if you're because um, that's the you point that Kasten made. You don't waste two spell slots if you cast it at third level. You just use a third level spell slot. Blake could say she oh. made an automaton. Actually, but that's a solid point, though. If he's invisible, he can basically hack into any system. And he can download that's files true. without being known, like being seen. So, because it lasts for an hour, so Zach would just have to smooth talk his fucking way through for an hour until Daddy concentration Daddy's stuff. for an hour. I can concentrate. Yeah, Let me just hold my sprig like of um, Daddy, you're muted. We, I see your mouth moving with no audio. <laughs> yeah, basically just don't get into fights because if you get hit and I'm stuck in the system just trying to find out a firewall, that would look very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's like pissed in one end and he's just like, oh no. <laughs> um, this isn't what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't what it looks like. I... <laughs> I, I have You know, this usually too. doesn't happen to me. Maybe, maybe I'll take the lead for this one. I, I think... The, I have the highest performance, I think. Or the, you have the, the highest, highest... Persuasion. Yeah. Sorry, persuasion. So why you don't... Have oh, I have an idea. Kasten. But you don't have the highest Kasten. level in the Quasars. Kasten, bye. Yeah, but you I want to kill idea. everyone. Yeah, technically also you're not a Quasar anymore, Guys. so you're not the highest level of the Quasars. Guys, you don't yes, know that. Yes, you're a deserter yes, right, from do. what this person said. You're a deserter <laughs> from everything we've talked. <laughs> what if Kate, since Kasten has a higher performance than uh, Zach, and Bite has the level and skill that she has as uh, ex Quasar, what if you guys put me in handcuffs? That works. Um, that was yeah, the original I plan. Of I kidnapped the senator's son. <laughs> Although I'd oh, rather have you in handcuffs in bed, but you guys, know, this guys, so guys, 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 guys. Carly was trying to say something. I I thought that was the plan with Bite because technically Bite is a deserter, so it'd be like we're bringing her back. Well, you can also bring back the senator's son. I also have a question. Why would we have the senator's son on this planet when you're a senator's son on some other random planet? Then you because, have no reason to be here. Because he gave him a ship. Yeah, I have a ship. Yeah, and but I they don't say... know we're here. They know people are here. They don't know exactly who's here. I can just say, I can I, I could easily persuade them saying that, because I have a plus five in persuasion, so I could easily persuade them into saying, hey, I landed here and they, they caught me, pretty much. Brittany, I sent you a DM. What's up, Steven? DM to me? I just want to say, of course, it's Brittany's idea that she wears handcuffs. <laughs> Naturally. If, of course, that was her suggestion. <laughs> Are we using his special handcuffs for this? Oh. Well, I don't think the, the soft fur ropes? would match. <laughs> for my sensitive wrist. For, for, for the sensitive wrist. Don't um, worry, I have silk rope hey. I could bind you in. Oh. Hey, bite, bite this. You know, I could send you some. And then coming well, back. Just, yeah, it's in this drawer somewhere. <laughs> Carly, I'll get to that DM in a sec. I'll probably. I'm, I'm too busy thinking at the moment. Brother, um, is the ultimate soft dom. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Imagine if Zach actually was like. You know. Not ace. How did anyway, we get we've got here? Like so what's the plan? Okay, yeah. Can we please? <laughs> can we please? It. Okay, Captain speaking. Okay. Oh. Kasten. 
you're gonna play an actor this time around. Yeah. Analon, you're with him. Daddy, come here, let me touch you. I look like one of them. <laughs> Analon, shh. Yeah, we're close, but not that close. <laughs> Get over here. I misspoke before. It's actually persuasion I have high, not performance, but I, I can still do I something. have... This I might have be a, a deception three, since yeah. we're lying. Yeah, this might be deception. Yeah, Hold this will... What's my deception? My deception's pretty also, good. Also, we shouldn't go by numbers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. Deception. Daddy, uh, Zach is gonna place a hand on you and he's gonna cast invisibility. And you are now invisible for an hour. Okay, Daddy. DK. Sorry. Donkey Kong. <laughs> DK, you are now invisible to the naked eye. Okay? Case oh, What about low clothes die? <laughs> I'm not gonna get anywhere. Zachary, move on. I'm gonna kill you. Zachary, move on. Kasten, tie me up. Oh, my toy went away. Just oh, what can right. here. I can't tie you up. Guys. <laughs> so, uh, Zach is gonna hand Kasten uh, some rope. Tie me up. That's not right. fair. And then next tie up, bite. Alright. So now bite That's and Zach fair. are tied up together. Uh, Try not to get too excited, bite. Oh god. Oh, I would You're tight love enough for that it's... Zach to bite me, to tie me up. You, not that... so much, but Zach? Okay. Oh god. Tight uh, enough that it looks under, like, a not close inspection that it's they're tied yeah. but loose enough that they can get out yes anyways uh bite how does how does um to play up the performance that we're about to do how does um asriel feel about getting her muzzle tied very loosely you want a muzzle asriel she's gonna bite the shit out of you what if we put a rope around she'll, her neck like a leash she'll just follow me don't worry about her she okay. doesn't do anything without a command. Reva, stay in the fur. Kasten, okay, Analon. Stay in the what? Oh, stay in the fur. Stay Got in the fur. You. Kasten, you're in front. Analon, you're in the back. Lead us to the lab. Does my no uniform way. have any, like, rips, tears, or cuts in it? Um, it seems a little tattered in just the edges and the sleeves, but other than that, it's a uniform. Okay, sounds good. Hey, we're going to pretend that you guys kidnapped us. And you're bringing us back for the prison cells. Got it? Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Oh, oh I can't God. wait. <laughs> I still have the highest Haste deception it. of anybody. So this Quick question about this. Why would we be taking you guys to a lab if we have you tied up and captured? Because you're confused, Analon. And, and you guys don't know where you're going because this place is kind of a labyrinth. I'll pretend that we're from some new... We're, we're, we're new and that we're from a different section. Reposted. Sounds yeah. good. All right. Does everybody have the plan? Yes. yes. Lay us out. All right. All right. All right. Am I on? Am I back? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, DM. I mean, it's it's one thing to it's one thing to have your players try to get coherent enough to make a plan. And just watching watching it happen is literally three fourths of the fun that is D and D. That's why I let this go on for so long. <laughs> but then after that three fourths, I was like, okay, I'm gonna step in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so with the party now set up like this, with various prisoners, one person invisible, and a couple people choosing the disguise route, uh, you all make your way, uh, following the directions that the one slicer gave you. You take the stairs up to the second floor rafters, and uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. There's a bunch of hallways here. Some leads to, uh, there's like one hallway that leads to observation deck. There's one hallway that leads to barracks. Uh, then there's then then the then there's the third hallway that you find that leads to laboratory. I mean, they're all labeled, and it's all in basic as well, so it's pretty easy. Um, basic as, bitches. Yep, yeah, basic bitches. Um, the door, all the doors open automatically as you proceed. Um, as you go deeper into this facility, things start to actually look a little, relatively speaking, nicer. Like, as you get closer to the laboratory, it's, it starts to show that they actually 
took their time making these rooms not just functional, but also, you know, just they they look like they cared enough to make things clean and tidy here. Um, obviously, this is all pilfered Federation tech that they're using to just work everything. Um, every once in a while, you pass by a couple patrols of quasars. You passed by just one human and one uh, person who looked humanoid, but he had pointed ears. Uh, they both just kind of gave you like a... They, ju they both just kind of gave you a quasar salute, which was um, just this... Like just, back. like just, like <laughs> yeah, it's like the space ball salute, <laughs> but no, with without the arm, I'm without... surrounded by assholes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's it's just one arm. It's just this. Yeah. Um, and uh, they actually don't seem to pay you any mind. I mean, as far as all these grunts and guards seem concerned, uh, the um the disguise seems to go actually pretty well. Um, that being said, though, bite so far. Um, in terms of all of the guards that you've been passing by, none of them seem to recognize you. They just kind of assume that you're just another Quasar right now. But, um, wait, bite's what about Zach? He so said bite. Zach? I said bite. Oh, I'm sorry, I got confused. I'm losing my. Don't listen to me. Wait, just... bite, bite is tied up with me though. Yeah, but she's not wearing any kind of disguise. She's still just wearing just her at her just her everyday Quasar guard. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my bad. Um, that's my and bad. plus, she has I a past. Room. And plus, she has a past with the quasars. But we have, but you guys have yet to run into anyone who actually remembers her. Right. Okay. All right. Now, Nobody as you get noticing Zach, uh, you pass. You seem to pass by a. Well, none of these grunts know who you are. I mean, yeah, you have your signature red hair, but they don't. They're low. Le they're too low level to really know the importance of like. Oh, who's what's this face? Oh, that's the senator's kid. Oh, okay, yeah. There's none of that happening. Um, yeah, Casual. they're too they're too way low level to really get into schemes like that that involve political figures. Um, just, just like, how do you do, fellow Quasar? <laughs> how do you do, fellow kids? Hail, hail, Galaxor! And hail, Galaxor! I... <laughs> yeah, would you like hail a gun? <laughs> My like God, a it's gun. great. TGIF, am I right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Although oh, you, you pass by one such hallway and it just seems to be a records room and you see a bunch of quasars just standing around a water cooler. <laughs> oh my god, they are so casual. You look Why are we attacking some these guys D &D. again? Some of them are playing D&D. &D. All right, roll your, roll your icosahedron. See if you hit. <laughs> How the fuck did you know that name? Isn't that the name, like the official name for a D20? Uh, yep, an icosahedron. What the fuck? <laughs> That, that's the I, that's I the actual you know that. that. that's the actual mathematical term of a d20. Yeah, how do you know cool, that? I knew I that because that. I watch a lot of dice pouring. Yeah, a, stuff. A, a d20 is a ice cosahedron, and a d12 is a dodecahedron. Yep. yep. I, learned that, I learned that. I learned that from Joe. I learned that from Joe Cat. Um, anywho, <laughs> as you as you guys continue to get closer and closer. Uh, to what you can assume is the laboratory, uh, these hallways actually start to get a, just a little bit more packed with quasars. They all seem to be, um, they all seem to be just kind of going in the same direction as you are. Again, none of them are really paying any mind. It's a combination of they just straight up see just they just see a bunch of grunts hauling prisoners. I mean, prisoners. That, that's kind of a normal thing that happens with quasars pilfering people in tech. Um, but you also get the sense that there's excitement in the air like something's going on here that have all the quasars kind of kind of happy right now um yes bite bite and Azrael are both snarling at everybody that passes by uh, I um look over at bite just... and i say quiet you oh, oh shit he can oh, say that to me yourself, anytime you elf bastard Fuck yourself, you elf bastard. Is Kasten an elf, or is he an half elf? Yeah, I'm he is an elf. Half elf. I, oh. w whatever the elves are in this lore. We'll call know. them elves. Let's not make okay. it too difficult. Okay. Um, <laughs> as make you... it so difficult. <laughs> My race is so complicated, you guys couldn't even begin to pronounce it. Kalistar. 
<laughs> Alistar? Funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you, just as you, like, you guys are just like, I've been running into so many walls today. <laughs> as you guys uh, continue down the hallway, uh, you then find yourselves in... I, I guess you could say it's kind of like a balcony area. I mean, this is still just a hallway that goes from one end to the other, but the entire, like, one side of the hallway, there's, like, a whole bunch of quasars crowded around a window. And they're all, like, they're all... And it's a long window, so they're all kind of, like, standing side by side, and they're all just kind of looking over, like, ooh, what's going on? What's going on? Um, And you guys look, and you realize... um. On the other side of the glass is this laboratory. Like, there seems to be a way into the laboratory. Not necessarily from where you guys are right now. It looks like you're going to have to go down this hallway and possibly kind of, like, loop around through a couple other rooms. Uh, but the laboratory is right there. And you see a whole bunch of canisters with fluids or minerals or crystals... Um, they all seem to be just general samples that have been taken from not just Talon 4, but a bunch of other places as well that they just kind of brought here for experimentation's sake. And inside the lab, you see two figures. The first one is another Warforged. He seems to be um, clearly, obviously a much uh, different model than what Daddy is. Daddy is a lot more well built for violence and assault um this other warforged has a much uh thinner frame and some of you hey dinah what are you doing oh <laughs> it's um, a sexy warforge i tap it <laughs> no the, this warforged does not have tits <laughs> um but this war but but uh some of you recognize this model Mine will in my campaign anyway um <laughs> Uh, this Warforged, some of you recognize the general model or the design of this kind of model, and you realize that these kinds of Warforged are used more for, like, um, science work and other kind of work that it requires more academic minds and not just physical labor. And uh, at that moment, um, you then notice the other figure in the room. There, it's not. This person is not really there. It's a hologram, and he seems to be just kind of standing there observing the android do his work. It's Dirax. Oh, shit. And he's just kind of standing there, and you recognize him. He is wearing his gigantic, um, his gigantic black, uh, coat. He kind of, again, to kind of give you an idea of this guy's general uniform, he kind of looks like Mr. X from yeah. Resident Evil 2. It's that kind of outfit. But his wings are just kind of, like, wrapped around and hooked in front of him, kind of like a cloak, gargoyle style. Uh, he just kind of has his arms crossed in front of him, and he still is wearing that weird, like, solid muzzle device over, his, over his entire snout. And again, you still see, like, one eye is normal, the other eye is robotic, and he's just kind of observing. At that moment, the Warforged turns around and his and in his own robotic way he smiles well then honored guests it is my pleasure to demonstrate to you the research that we have successfully been able to uncover from our expeditions into the so called Talon crater if you will observe uh, he then gestures to one of the tanks which then empties with it empties its fluid and it you then see inside of the tank guys if you all will pay attention for a moment i'm posting it in the chat in discord right now oh what the fuck is that weird as you see closer to the epicenter of the crater we have discovered these pod like entities and it is through great research and also with a little bit of coincidental luck that we have been able to truly find out what these things are it would appear that these are not a natural occurring phenomenon on this planet 
And I'm now realizing that I've turned this guy into the robot arm inspector from Young uh, Frankenstein. I was going to make the joke. I was going to nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> nobody expects the Quasars. <laughs> I was thinking of something a little bit more obscure, and it was going to be Five Old Goes West. And when the sun goes down... <laughs> Mouse burgers. <laughs> Mouse burgers. Oh, God. I rem Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He is that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We have discovered that this phenomenon comes not from the planet that we call Talon. For you see, now I gave him a German accent because you pointed that <laughs> out. <turned> <laughs> I he, hate turned, he went from Swedish to German in like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> wow, two of my. We started from the bottom, now we're things. here. Oh, started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking here. It would appear that these pod like entities actually stem from the entity that is inside the crater itself. And when I say entity, I speak. Not of the still intact asteroid that is inside said crater, but we have uncovered evidence that there is actually a living thing inside the still intact asteroid. And it would appear that its very presence has spawned these pods to sprout from the ground, starting from the crater, and it is our hypothesis that these pods, given enough time, will spread across the entire planet surface. Mm. It is also with further research that we realize that these pods are sentient in nature. Please observe. And he gestures towards what looks like a giant um, terrarium kind of container. Um, on inside the terrarium is one of those is another one of those spiky pod like things and already you can see like the electricity in the room is already starting to get a little like charged up as all the quasars kind of direct their attention they're they're completely ignoring you by the way their focus is just on this terrarium and even the hologram of Dirax himself is directing his attention and even he's starting to show a little like oh this could actually be kind of good for I, once I try, I try to whisper to where daddy is and like just start start downloading information just do it now don't wait for us to start did you really think I'd be waiting to stay with the group <laughs> Dude, Daddy's long that. gone. He's already I in there. I left the moment he turned me invisible. So, sorry, my my Pelostra Scarlin came out a little bit there, where, uh, where so, I feel like I have to be one step ahead of everybody. Oh, so. well, now I'm sad. Sorry. Zach is already like three and, steps ahead of Case, um, dude. He we, knew what he was doing. We will get back to Daddy in a moment. Um, yes, Carly. Rev is just in the fur, and she's just like. The fuck? There's something in the crater? <laughs> oh yeah, she can't Great see poison. it. And Bite is just like, okay, go for, go for it, fucker, you motherfucker. Just oh. like, okay, I'm not listening to you, you bitch. I, I take out my sword, point it at, at Bite, and say, you want to say one more thing? No. Oh. oh, fuck you, you elf bitch. What are you going to do? Meanwhile, a couple quasars standing between you and the glass, uh, and the glass, they both kind of look back and you go like, shh. Yes, oh, shut quasar. the fuck up. Hey, you shut the fuck up, man. What? what? You want to go, bitch? You're I tied. will break out of these chains and I will fuck you up. Uh, bite. All right. Is there any Calm way down. I can, like, muzzle bite? Oh, that! I think she might she like that too much. She has a muzzle. She has a muzzle. Will... That's why there's a scar across her mu her her face. I won't be muzzled. <laughs> Can we duct tape her mouth? <laughs> Zach is literally okay. Zach is literally sweat dropping through this entire thing. He's for, just like for the sake oh, of Zach, expediency. Zach, I... you. <laughs> I was gonna say, Zach, you have her muzzle. She gave what? it to you when you became captain. Doesn't mean I'm gonna carry that thing. All right, Evan, what were you saying? Thank <laughs> you. Can we At, gag bite? 
Putting the putting the focus back on the lab, you see the terrarium with the pod in it. A door inside the terrarium opens up, and you recognize one of those armor-faced beetle creatures that was like the first creature that you ever fought when you landed on this planet seems to have gotten like herded into the terrarium. It's just kind of like looking around, wondering what's going on. At that moment, the pod starts to quiver. And the pod itself actually starts to open up and unfurl, and it turns into nope. that. I just posted it in the channel. That's a nope from Zach immediately. That's a, Ooh. I am not touching that. Weird. That's a, that's a nope spider thing. That's a nope creature. Uh, the beetle creature. <laughs> the beetle creature At already... One, one. The beetle creature, already starting to feel threatened, is already making, like, chittering and screeching noises, basically saying to, like, stay away from it. However, this unfolded pod entity just kind of, like, scuttles about to the right, scuttles about to the left, and it just kind of, like, stays there for a moment before its maw suddenly opens up, and this giant stinger thing shoots out of the mouth, and it stabs the beetle right in the middle of the head, and then as soon as it latches on, the pod creature launches from the floor and then just latches onto the face of the beetle creature. And you just hear what sounds like a very high-pressured sucking noise. Oh. And, the, and, then starting no. from, mm -mm. and then starting from the face of the beetle going all the way to the back of its body, it loses all pigment. And the creature just turns gray. Oh. Oh no! And Rev then is I, gonna duck more into the fur. She and could then be like, I, absolutely and, not. <laughs> and then, as soon as the entire creature turns gray, the pod creature just kind of like lets go and just kind of backs it, backs up, and then it just kind of is just docilely standing there for a moment. The beetle creature just kind of like stays there, completely frozen in its new gray state, and then it slowly crumbles to dust. Absolutely not. The uh, war, the Warforged, seemingly proud of this little demonstration, just goes, as you can see. <laughs> as you can see. The piano will be most pleased. <laughs> I need him to say death. <laughs> Dyrax takes off his <laughs> muzzle, and you see a tiny mustache on his yeah. snout. That's so oh, nice. It's not. Why, <laughs> Liam, why did you do that? Now You're I, the one who made him sound like a German scientist, man. Like, <laughs> Yeah, but I wasn't going to go that far. Zephyra yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> would be most pleased. <laughs> Just so fucked up. <laughs> oh, we are going to get so banned from Twitch. Oh, it's fine all right so oh. the the warforge now proud of its demonstration as you can see is this is this meteor creature that has spawned from the asteroid entity itself it latches on to its target and it absorbs energy from it whether it is life energy or some other form of tangible energy source Unfortunately, we have not made sufficient research to know exactly what it is it is absorbing. What we do know is that whatever it absorbs is vital to the target creature's sustainment of life. It is our objective to try and harvest these creatures, figure out a way to properly control them, and we will have undoubtedly unbeatable living weapons to attack the Federation. Was that good? F was that yeah, good that's enough? That's gonna work out fucking perfect for you, you bastard. Meanwhile, the hologram... Meanwhile, the hologram of Dyrax, you see him just kind of nod, and you can't see him smile, because he's still got the muzzle on. He just goes, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Of course. 
Of course you're impressed. I Why didn't you let me back his... in, bitch? Bite. I'm a... Meanwhile, they can't hear you right now because there's a whole pane of thick-ass glass between you and them. Thank fucking God. Oh. Dyrax. Please. please. Ju- you see Dyrax just kind of smile. We will harvest them, weaponize them, control them. Continue, continue harvesting and experimentations in our facilities here. And we'll send more reinforcements to the mines that we have right next to the regions of that is the crater itself. Soon, I think it's safe to say that we'll soon be a force once again to be reckoned with. Don't you agree, Bite? And, oh uh, shit. Fucking uh, shit. And the hologram looks right at you guys. And that's where You're we're gonna going end. You're going to love exactly what I'm going to do to you. He's a hologram. He's not Just really like you bite. loved me when you when I was with you, I'm going to come back, and you're gonna love every single single thing that I was going to do. And with that, we end tonight's session. Damn. Okay. <laughs> well, more. Couldn't keep your muzzle shut, could you, bite? Yeah, could you no. bite? No, I can't. Can I just say, case did. Ravish just gonna like look at her. Is she gonna like bite? What the fuck? <laughs> what you see, Captain? <laughs> I'm just saying, case did. Case did. <laughs> if Zach was an ace. I'd tap that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you tap case did. I mean, I tap Reva too if you want. You get the f- <laughs> <laughs> you get I mean, nice save from my man's polyamorous relationship. I can back it into the DMs. You can do your fantasies over there. Do our fantasies in there. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. Thank you so much. It is good to be back in the groove of things. Hopefully, we'll be back next week. We'll see for certain. Yep. Guys, stay safe. Take care. Wash your Don't hands. Don't get caught by the police. Wash your hands, wear a mask, get I vaccinated. Sir Dominance if you end up in jail. And we love you, and we will see you all later. Bye. Bye. Bye see you. Bye.